Oh man. Oh, I gotta unmute you guys. Hold on, hold on. I think, hold on, hold on. I gotta figure this out. Oh man, look at this, look at this, look at this. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm, too, I'm getting too excited here. Oh man, I don't know what's going on here. Hold on, crap. There's a reason why you guys are muted. Dang, everybody's getting on. Hold on, I gotta unmute. Oh. Hi. Oh, you unmute. You can unmute yourself. We can. Yes. Oh, great. Okay, everybody, unmute yourself right now. <laughs> a lot of times it mutes everybody when you first start because that's a whole lot easier. Yeah. And I, 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 I put doing, everybody on mute right. to begin with. Mm -hmm. you go, guys. You may if sometimes you start getting feedback from a mic that even though like one day it was me and I nothing's happening at my house, but somebody said I was still getting feedback, so we may need to mute and then unmute when we want to say something. Sweet. Mr. Hey, Carter, Carter, what's up? Oh my goodness. It's just, sometimes it's hard to, well, you got to keep going. Figure out who else here. That's fantastic. Oh this my goodness. <laughs> and you know what the sad thing is? I probably haven't seen Prouty's or hands for about as long as you guys. Oh my. <laughs> Where's David at? Speaking to you, Jordan. Oh my word. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Nazi. Oh goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, hi, Prouties. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, I probably can't. You know how to mute yourself, hands, so you can speak? I just told someone today, well, I think I told Jordan last night, um, two weeks ago, I wouldn't have had a clue what he was talking about if he said we're having a Zoom meeting. I know. Can you hear now, me now? Not, I'm certainly not an expert, but I know a whole lot more than I did. <laughs> I expected to see the young ones him. like Rookie and, and Jackie, but I didn't expect to see all us old ones on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we oh, can't forget our kids. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. Mercy. This is Prouty. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh my God, Mr. Han. Hi. <laughs> beautiful. Wow. Beautiful as always, Jackie. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's look at how tan the hands are. I'm just <laughs> you look pretty good too, Terry. <laughs> he's he's known in the fishing circles as. The tan man. <laughs> oh, I can believe it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I, I need my other glasses. Mm -hmm. My first. Jessica! Oh, we got a little one with Dr. Coy there. Oh, hello, Jessica. Oh, you guys, this is too much fun. Oh, my. No way. Oh, Chaplain Hall's walking in the woods. <laughs> Because <laughs> otherwise I'm looking weird. Everybody needs a little sign about where they're living right now because I don't keep track of that very well. Yeah, so we're we're gonna I have some um once we get some more people, I'm gonna have some like things just to go over before we come. Okay, going. wonderful. That's exciting. Yeah. So this is pretty cool, guys. This is really it cool. Is. Thank you for it doing is. this. Oh. How do you make the pictures not be in just a, a film strip? Mm. Okay, you go. There to, we go. Oh, Skipped it. it. Okay. <laughs> nice. You can put them over in the side. Is that what you did? No, we got oh, it. Are you seeing everybody? Yeah, we're looking at everybody. Well, not everybody. Apparently, Glaude doesn't have a hair hair policy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. That's, I mean, that's a good point. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you seeing everyone? Tell me. What's that? I, mean, I can. I'm still doing the film, the film strip. I thought I knew how to fix that, but um, I'm on my computer and I downloaded the app, so like I have. I'm on the computer too, but yeah. In the upper right hand window, there should be a little box that has like four or six squares, nine squares. If you okay. click on that, it should be right. Oh. Caleb Macaroni, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to leave. Hey guys. Hi. Hey okay, Caleb. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, I'm not doing well. You guys, it is awesome to see everybody. Wow. Yes. 
Yes, it is. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> you know, and if you guys, uh, just in case you didn't catch it, if you go over there to the little chat thing, people are putting on where they're from or where they're at now. Oh, nice. Yeah, so one of, one of the things that I'm going to go over when we get started is like um, kind of like yes. introducing yourself and like kind of giving you giving like before you tell you what your um, what your memory is like saying like, you know, what what year you were just for everybody to know when you were at Glaw and then like just like where you're at. You have a family. What, what are you doing and whatnot? So, okay. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you're oh, welcome to put it in the house. chat as well. <laughs> hey, Caleb. Oh, these faces I haven't seen forever. Well, I, I get to follow a lot of the kids on, uh, or a lot of people, pardon me, on uh, Facebook. That, that's yeah. really great. Good to see all your faces here. It's pretty special. Yeah, to see it actually live, that's different mm -hmm. than. Yeah, it is. Facebook. Although for, those of you, for those of you who know me, I'm just going to take a sip of water here. <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh, ah. brother. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you're if you're muted, um, you can unmute yourself if you want to talk. Um, otherwise, if yeah, you don't like, want to say Nate, anything, you can. You're, mute you're, yourself. you're unmuted, Jeremy. You're uh, you're muted. Hi, okay, Mike. I forgot how to make it so that whoever's talking is big. Thank you, thank you for the technology uh, lesson there, uh, Mrs. Prouty. <laughs> I don't know much. Well, we appreciate uh, <laughs> your insight. <there. laughs> oh, we got the Samuels. Oh, Let's go. They're going to record oh, good. some music. I was hoping they were going to be here. Nice. Hey, uh, hey Cindy uh, and hey. Samuels, I asked you last night your songs. Oh, oh look at oh, you, David. <laughs> Oh, okay. Samson, what kind of picture is that? <laughs> it's not live. Hey, you don't have to do that. Right. We know you could post pictures, but we don't. We want to see you. <laughs> there you go. Can somebody remind me how to make it so whoever's talking is big? Up in the top that. right corner, you'll see speaker view or. Oh. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so for the Why people, if there's a, there's a chat on the on the on the right side, you can do like you can click chat and the chat will pop open from the right and you can like private yeah. chat with people and you can do everyone so it goes to everybody. Um, so okay, okay. so okay. if you want to have like a side conversation with somebody, feel free. Yeah, that we don't we don't want everybody else to hear. That's right. Mrs. <laughs> Uh, well, I might, I might uh, have a side conversation with you, Mrs. Prouty, and ask for a pop tart. Oh, you know, <laughs> I don't buy them anymore. <laughs> I, I see big boxes, and I think, oh, I used to buy them. This is so cheap. <laughs> nice. Oh, One I, of the I wanna, stores I, I was at was out of pop tarts. I didn't wasn't going to buy them, but yeah. I just kept looking at the empty spots, and I thought, okay, pop tarts. Wow. <laughs> So I want to I want to pause this conversation just for a second so we can get a uh, a word from um, Mr. Gaten. Welcome, Mr. Gaten. Oh, oh uh, let me unmute you, Mr. Gaten. It's not even. What's the word, Gaten? I don't know. It's good to see all your faces. <laughs> oh. Uh, my oh wow. <laughs> Curtis. Yeah. Oh, I don't see him. I think my screen's not big enough. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. Yeah, Hi. good to see all you guys. Man, you got yeah. Hello. Organized this pretty good. Yeah. Sadie. <laughs> yeah. There. Oh, she. She's got a picture. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, my. Who are those? Oh, who are oh those people? The whole Hall family. Oh, Look my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we were just, I, my sister and I were just talking. Um, Ashley graduated, my sister graduated in 05, and we were just talking about how old um, Olivia was when 
um, when she was at school and then how old she was when Alyssa and I were at school. And then like, they popped out like three others, like in the, in the you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, just ask the mother about popping them out. <laughs> <laughs> do you want, do you, do you guys want to take this opportunity to kind of uh, introduce your kids to everybody, um, your whole family? Sure. Oh, wow. Well, this is Olivia right here. Can you wave, Olivia? Oh, oh she's, a, she's a senior this year, and unfortunately, COVID is messing up her senior year. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then this is Sophia, the second. She's a freshie. And Jessica used to babysit Sophia and Maya. Why is Bla having a and This is Maya right here. She was born right before we left Gla. She's going to be 12 on the 13th of this month. And then Josiah is our Hoosier baby. That's right. Jordan, mm -hmm. did you hear that? It was a good move. <laughs> oh, my word. Wow. I'm going to wait right now. So great to see you all. Yeah. Nice. Awesome who's, that, who's that guy with the bald head, though? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it all switched. It switched from top to bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word yeah wow. so uh so i'll uh I'll, I'll open the floor to um one of the smartest uh people that i ever knew at gla mr carter would you like to uh say something <laughs> actually i'm trying to unmute, unmute you but i can't you might say i hate all of you equally <laughs> <laughs> no, or read us no. something from jacob the baker he does still say that <laughs> Mr. Samuel, you look very professional. We're still not here, there, Mr. Carter. We see your mouth moving, but we don't hear you. Yeah, but he's not on. You're it muted. doesn't say you're mm -hmm. muted, but we don't sit here, you. His mic isn't connected well or something. Or he's just trolling us because he's pretending to speak. Oh. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Every so often, someone pops on the screen, and I re realize that they're here. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Wow. They're here. <laughs> oh, um, here, I'll, I'll tell a quick, a very quick story. So Zach Crane graduated in 11. He, 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 he is in co communication with Mr. Samuel because Mr. Samuel and them are in Tampa, but I don't want to take their thunder. They can tell that. Um, but Mr. Samuel comes over to Orlando apparently. And so Zach and him, were going to get breakfast. And then Zach texts me and Jake Sokolis, who I live with. <laughs> he was like, Hey, come to breakfast and we'll surprise Mr. Samuel. So Zach wasn't there. I was there with Jake first. And then Mr. Samuel walks up, he goes to get a table. And I'm like, I walk up to him and I'm like, I don't think you need a table, sir. And he just like, his reaction was priceless. <laughs> you guys should have videoed that. That would have been awesome. That would have been good. <laughs> so anyway, um, okay. So without further ado, I think we'll just kind of get started here. Um, so I welcome everybody. This is pretty sweet. And I'm glad I invited the faculty because um, at, at first, at first I just did students and it's not that I didn't want faculty. But it's like, it wouldn't be the same without you guys because all like almost all of our memories are made with you guys too. So, I mean, I'm counting here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 of the one, two, three, four, five, like 25 or 20 people here are our faculty. So, so like I said, it wouldn't be the same without you guys. Um, so, uh, basically, um, just in case, so I, I upgraded my account so that this would be like, we wouldn't lose a, like, apparently if you have a basic account with zoom, it like cuts you off at 40 minutes, I think. And you can, yeah. So like, Oh, you have to pay for it? <laughs> oh, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. I can afford it. It's okay. Um, if I was at Glaw, maybe not, but I sold, I sold soda in the dorm and I still have money from that. So um, I want to go pay for this. So, no, I think, Jordan, I think all your money came from those laser pointers uh, that were contraband that you were selling. I think that's yeah. right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll have to tell that story if there's time. That guy anyway. with the long hair. Uh, yeah, the long hair. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, just in case something happens, David, ha David Fernandez, um, David, David, by the way, David's helped me like um, kind of get the word out and edit all the stuff that we sent you. Um, so I want to thank him for um, all your help, Dave. Appreciate it. And actually, it started with Dave and I doing a um, an Instagram live the other night and we had like um, 
who do we have? Who do we have, David? We had um, uh, we John Brook. Leitlig. We had John Brook, who's here with us today. We had um, Rena Delente come on. Um, man, there were, there were a few more people. I don't remember all of them off the top. But like we were trying to get John on there, but you can only do two on Instagram live. And we were yeah. like, and so I told David afterwards, I'm like, dude, like we, we should totally, we should totally like do like a Zoom so we can get more people on. And then it's just like, oh, why not? So, um, so anyway, Dave, David has a backup that we will send people in case this doesn't like it stops. So, um, and we'll send that info. Actually, David, can you put that in the chat real quick, just in case? Um, and then I already went over that. Um, if you don't, if you want to leave your, um, sorry, this is just housekeeping stuff. I'll get through it in a second. I'm sorry. Um, you can leave your camera and your microphone off if you'd rather, and, and you can still be a part of it, but just not like actively a part of it. No problem. Um, so, uh, if you share a memory or a story, cause I'm like, if everybody, when, once we get going, if everybody, and it looks like most people are muted, if you could just like mute yourself while the other person's talking, just like to limit background noise, um, that would be fantastic. Um, but if you share a story, start by, um, or before you share a story, like say who you are, um, when you were at GLAW, and if your faculty, how long you were at GLAW. Um, I mean, we are, we, all of us know, but that's okay. We still want you to tell us. Um, when you were at GLAW, what year you graduated, and where you live now, and um, like if you're in school or if you're working, like what you're doing for a job, just to update people. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can buy it, you can skip that, um, but just tell us, kind of, you know, update us where you're at. Um, David, on a side note, I'm pretty sure this is recording, so don't worry about that. So other people can watch this, um, potentially. Um, let's see, oh, try to only share one story at a time, and then if time allows, we'll come back and share more, like the laser pointer story that Dean Hill was talking about. Um, so let's see. Um, oh, and if, if, if a faculty, like if faculty, if you are um, sharing a story, what's up, Carter? I see you there. Hi, buddy. Um, if you, um, if you share, if you share a story that involves somebody that's on the chat, like mention that from the beginning and then, um, either I will, or they can unmute themselves so they can like provide commentary during, during the, um, during this, the story. Um, and just, um, just to keep it organized, if you could just like, um, let's see, how do you, how do you, how do you raise your hand? Or you can just like put in the chat, there should be, David, where's the raise, raising hand thing? I know it sounds silly, but oh, Brianna raised her hand. Thank you, Brianna. I don't. It's yeah, under the top under more. Brianna, say it again. I think it's under more, like in the settings. Oh, okay. So, so, so if you if you can figure that out, then raise your hand if you want to like talk next, um, and like we'll get we'll get a list, and I'll I'll like make a list so that I can say who's next. Um, and if anybody has recommendations on how to make this call better or smoother, let me know. Feel free to message me. Um, and then uh, just, just to put that out there, make it kosher and be respectful of other people and time. So with Real that being said. And so if, if you guys are on your computer, then what you'll do is you'll go down on the bottom of your screen and click on participants. And then it has the option there to raise hand. So that's how you can do that. It's pretty easy. Perfect. So um, who, um, actually, you know what? I think it would be appropriate to um, like open this with prayer, especially since it's Sabbath. So um, I guess I'll pray. Or who, who, who would like to pray? Ms. Hall, would you like to pray? Yes, am I unmuted for the moment? Okay. I'd be glad to pray. Okay, if everybody could put your, else. oh, is that your dogs? <laughs> no, it's not my dog. No, no, things haven't changed that much since you left. <laughs> okay, if everybody else could be on mute, that'd be perfect. All right, go for it. Okay. Father, thank you so much for your love. And I just thank you that at this time when, you know, it's so easy to be caught up in all the junk that's going on in our world, that we can take some time on your special day to just remember the amazing memories that you've given us together. And I thank you for the bond that holds us together, which is first and foremost, um, in our minds, Great Lakes Adventist Academy, but really that means the bond is you. And so I just pray that you'll help us to enjoy our time together. And I thank you for every single person that's part of this and all those that will see it later and for all the people that have been part of our Glaw family. And I thank you that we could pray in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. So who would like to get going? Who would like to start?
Oh, hold on, hold on. Before we do, Mr. Carter, did you figure out, because you, you're, you're a very important part of this. Did you figure out your microphone situation, sir? I believe so. Can you hear Fantastic. me? Fantastic, yes. And just so everybody knows, I did private message. I did DM uh, Mr. Carter, and, and he will hopefully be dropping um, an excerpt from uh, Jacob the Baker for us before this is all said and done. So, um, uh, who would like to start? Whoever talks first can start and then we'll make a line, make a list. Anybody? Okay, well, since we're waiting, I will tell a story, um, I guess. And I'll guess, I'll, I'll wait, because I have, I told Mrs. Norcross, I have a story that involves, uh, that involves her, um, but I also have a story that, Involves her, but also involves Alex and Taylor, Taylor the Fave and Alex uh, Tompkins. So I'm waiting for them to get on. So I'm going to hold that story. Um, it's pretty good. So, um, but I'll, I'll, I guess I'll start just since uh, Dean Hill um, kind of alluded to me selling um, stuff. So I'll try to make it quick. So basically, like I sold, um, I was a four year senior. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me start this out. I'm getting ahead of myself. I have to introduce myself. Jordan Valiers. I was there a four year senior, graduating in 2010. Um, I currently live in Orlando. I live with two of my sisters. I bought a house, so I, um, I live with two of my sisters. Jake Sokolis also lives with me. Um, and um, I am currently a nurse practitioner. I work at a family medicine, um, outpatient family medicine practice. Um, I love my job. Um, we're doing a lot of telehealth right now just for the COVID situation. So um, I'm very lucky, um, not like Nati, to be in the ER. And I'm sorry, sorry to steal your thunder there um, to say about what you're doing. But um, um, yeah, so I'm very lucky to be able to not have as much patient interaction, but still help people um, over the phone. So um, that's about it as far as uh, as far as me. I have no kids. I have no girlfriend. I have no wife. So maybe if we do this in 10 years, uh, that might change. So with that being said, um, so long story short, my sister Ashley, who graduated in 05, went to Southern. Um, and she had a, like a meal plan and she had money left over a meal plan. So she bought like candy soda and chips and she, and I hauled it all the way up to GLA, um, because she, I, she said I could have it. So I, so I took it, but then I was like, I'm not going to eat all this stuff. So I started selling it and, um, and, and giving it away like Eric Mall when he would come into uh, tutor me, um, on freshman hall for, uh, for algebra, uh, Mrs. Heslop, um, anyway, so, but then like people started asking for it and I'm like, well, I'm not just going to give it. Hey, Ryan Coyson. Um, I'm not just going to give it. I'm going to like, I started selling it and it was like, man, people really love the soda. So then long story short, I started selling soda and I made like over a thousand dollars pure profit, um, uh, pure profit, uh, while I was at Glaw during the four years. And those, 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 those in the dorm who know me and have bought it. If you've bought a soda from me, raise your hand. Yes, sir. That's right. Um, anyway, um, Mr. Berlin, welcome. Um, Where's the peace sign? There it is. Love it. Um, so anyway, sorry, I'm breaking my rules with being drawn out. So that was the soda was one thing, but one time I bought these laser pointers off like Amazon or something offline and I bought them for $10 a piece, but I sold them for $25 a piece and I sold them to almost all freshmen um, when I was a senior and I was an RA. Um, and so I sold them to freshmen. I sold them in one night. So I made, I think $150 pure profit, uh, the first, the first night that I sold them. Um, and all these freshmen had them. So all the, of course, all the freshmen are like, you know, shining them all over the place and getting in trouble and whatnot. And Dean Hill, like, Oh, by the way, I, I'm going to unmute Dean Hill. Dean Hill, can you provide some feedback on this? Um, just as, as much yeah, as you I want. Did, I remember there being laser pointers concentrated in that area. Um, and so just as you do when you try to follow the threads and see where that's coming from and surprise, surprise, uh, as I just talked to people, <laughs> your name came up and I, yeah, so, I so my head and then when I wasn't, I wasn't mad or anything. I just remember, uh, when I approached you about it and you let me in on the hustle, I just, uh, You're I just had, had to give you credit. It was, you were impressed. Oh, you were impressed. Yeah. Yes, I was impressed. So, so what happened? We were we were in dorm worship, right? And Darkway Bass was shining. Well, he he didn't own it. He was just using it, and he was shining it during dorm worship. And I like told him, and I'm like, dude, like, stop, <laughs> stop using the laser pointer. Like, I'm gonna get in trouble. And so, like, he kept going and kept going. And so then, 
we had to take it or, or yeah, we had to take it during dorm worship. And I'm pretty sure I, I'm the one that took it. And, and so like Dean Hill during our, our, our conference before we went into study hall, he's like, where did all these laser pointers come from? And I'm like, <laughs> guilty, but wait until I tell you how much I made. So anyway, that's my story. Um, that's all. Um, because I was telling one, oh, Courtney, go ahead. Uh, and then, and then we'll get in a line here. Oh, I don't care. I can go. No, I go. For, yeah, go for it. Okay, because I've got my babies quiet right now. So um, Courtney Bassett was Tate. I graduated in 07. I think most of you know me. It's my husband, Wallace. Why is he Courtney Tate's baby, hon? Huh? Mr. Berlin, if you want to turn your, uh, turn your, uh, turn, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> Sorry, so this is um, our baby, Gideon. He is five and a half weeks old now for the moment he's awake. We live in Nebraska right now. Um, I'm a physician assistant. My husband's a nurse anesthetist. Um, thankfully, I'm off on maternity leave, so I'm not going to the hospital, but my husband is. So we're trying to stay well, as I'm sure most of you are. Um, learning to take care of our little baby and just excited to see everybody. Um, I won't share a story, but it's just good to see so many familiar faces and um, especially all of you faculty to know you're all there and doing well, so. <laughs> Gideon says hello. Yes. And happy Sabbath. You should tell them why we named him Gideon. Oh, yeah. As you know, uh, we're not, I'm not very tall and my husband's not six foot three either. <laughs> so um, we named him Gideon because of the bi biblical story, because it doesn't matter how big you are, but uh, with God, it doesn't matter the size of your army or your personal stature, that God's big enough. So that's why we named him Gideon. That's right. So. We didn't want to name him Zacchaeus. Yeah. You know, that, <laughs> that would be a... Yeah. So anyway, I'll let somebody else go. All right. Who, um, uh, Brianna, real quick, just real quick, Brianna, where do I find the people who raise their hand? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you there. All right. Um, who would like to go next? And by the way, Samson, I'm pretty sure I did tithe on that, on that, on those profits. I, I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I try to be faithful. I was, I was, I was just checking. <laughs> Samson, go ahead. Share a story while you're, uh, while you're on. I, I feel like, I feel like this, sorry, one minute. Let me turn this on. Uh, Tell us about yourself and where you're at too. Uh, so I'm in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. Uh, I, I'm pastoring uh, a church out here in a place called Choctaw. Um, and <laughs> I mean, when you, when I'm thinking back to stories like law, it's crazy to imagine I'm saying this, <laughs> uh, but I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of a story. Graduated from Southwestern. I just want to mention that. So those of you that have children, think about that for uh, education. Um, I'm trying to think of a story. All my stories are kind of okay. I, I remember a story. I remember uh, okay. some of you guys. I'm going to interrupt guys, really quick, though. I'm interrupting. Sorry, I'm allowed. <laughs> I just want everybody to know that a few months ago, September of this very school year, September 2019, our fall week of prayer speaker was none other than Samson Simbiba. And we had a wonderful time. Um, our kids are still being blessed. So I just wanted to throw out that out there. I have a story for you, Samson. You were supposed to be a four-year senior. You were supposed to work for me, but you decided to do things differently. <laughs> See, Samson, I, we I need your laughing. We can't hear you muted laughing. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to scream on the, because <laughs> my laugh can sometimes be loud. Anyways, uh, yeah, I was supposed to work for Mrs. Heslop, but I was asked, uh, well, I was asked if I was interested in leaving, uh, and I agreed to that. Um, because the only other option is like, but that's not the story I was gonna share. I was gonna share actually an interesting story. I don't know if you guys remember shakedowns. Uh, if you remember shakedowns, basically checking your room, fun stuff. You stay stay in the stay in the chapel until like four a.m. in the morning, or in the basement till certain times. Anyways, I didn't have contraband this year. Um, the only thing that I had was a boombox, and in my mind, I. I thought I just knew I was going to get caught because it was hidden behind a towel. And I was just like, there's no way like it's going to get caught 
And I remember walking into my room being like, well, I'm just ready for this fine, whatever it's going to be. I was just hoping I was going to get fined for the CD that was in there because there were songs on there. And I know they just, they find extra for that. And I remember walking in there and seeing my towel still there and removing the towel and my boom box was still there. That was one of the things that blew my mind completely. I was like, yo, this boom box made it. And people that hid stuff in a cereal box got caught. I was like, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know if anybody remember shakedowns, but that was one story that just, it, it sticks in my mind. Like, I don't know how that happened. I'll tell you how it happened. We, we, we really try and find those places because most people uh, put some more thought into just throwing it behind a towel. So <laughs> definitely go in the box. I mean, people have hid stuff in the tops of their shampoo bottles. Like people get very creative. And so over the years, and plus I was a student too, you think of all the places that, uh, my friends had stuff. I don't know that I had contraband when I was there. I don't think I did. But the, oh really? Yeah, you, you don't you, think you did, Matt? <laughs> just all the, all the things. Listen, you have to think about the technology that was available in two thousand one. Um, it, it 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 was much difficult to hide, try and uh, hide that stuff. Um, I was dean. He did yeah. not have contraband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that thank you um but yeah no just toss behind a towel like we would i would re i would dig through people's dirty laundry when we do shakedown so it's not for a lack of trying it was just it was it was almost so simple that we just we just went over it could we could we have maybe uh i think the deans we have here are and i could be wrong uh dean hill dean hall dean han hill hall han um and uh dean berlin um, this is Berlin. If anybody wants to share what the most uh, creative um, place to hide contraband was that you that you discovered, and Dean Sembeba because he came back as task force. Good point. Thank you, Mr. Carter was a dean too. Mr. Carter, thank you. I, I tried to block all those out of my mind at this point. That's good. <laughs> Dean Hand, do you want to? Is we used to uh, fill bags up when Carter was helping me with the thing. We'd get those 50 gallon trash bags and drag them down the hall and con divide and conquer. And uh, I think most of you guys, you know, from 90 to 2000, probably had some sort of it in there. Uh, I'm not sure that I never busted the Hollywood uh, Hall, but. Maybe, not sure. He was a pretty good boy, but Carter could uh, definitely tell you that. We we uh, furnished the the lobby of the boys' dorm with fines from that. Most of it from Tom Brundage, probably. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so one, one thing I'll insert real quick. So when we were on the Facebook Live the other day, um, and I don't see Leanne Heilig on here, but, and, and nobody on here besides the, I think the Hall, Hall kids um, who are still going through GLAW, but I, I doubt that they would hide contraband, of course, um, uh, if they're in the dorm, um, which I think they are. But anyway, I, I will share where Leanne Heilig said that they used to hide contraband, um, which I feel like it's safe, especially because we're all out of there. So, um, but apparently she used to hide, Mrs. Berlin, ready for this one. Um, they used to hide contraband in the, I don't know if I should share this, but it's too late. Um, they used to hide a contraband in the girls' bathroom by Mr. Carter's office in the ceiling tiles. <laughs> Mrs. Berlin, do you want to uh, <laughs> shed some light on that? In the what? Go ahead, in the what? In, the, in the ceiling Tell tiles in the girls' bathroom by Mr. Right. Carter's office. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, the, the, the greatest place I found one is I found a cigarette in, the, in a tampon tube. They pulled the tampon out and put the cigarette in the tampon tube. That's hilarious. That's great. Oh, man. Okay, so um, anybody, uh, I, I don't know if anybody's raising their hand, but um, whoever just starts talking can share. Or I'll pick somebody. I'll share. Okay, Caleb, go for it. 
So first off, it's just good to see everybody. I haven't seen a lot of you guys in a long time. And as far as the faculty goes, you guys look like you haven't aged like a day since when I graduated. Like you guys are in good shape. So that's pretty impressive. Um, I have a lot of good memories from GLA right now. Yeah, hold on, give us an update on, on where, you're, where you're at and what you're, like, what you're doing and stuff. Yeah, um, I'm living in Auburn, Washington and I work for the Washington Conference as an accountant there. And this is my wife, Christine. <laughs> she's a nurse so she's working fighting coronavirus kind of right now um but uh yeah i work at, for the washington conference after gla i went as a student missionary in the philippines for a year and then i came back and i worked in literature evangelism for about eight years doing that and then i eventually found myself in washington and so i've been working and doing treasury work and accounting work for the washington conference for about two and a half years now and also going into I'm actually getting into software engineering now so I'm going back to school for that and I'm really excited about that but my memory from GLA one of my memories was when I almost got kicked out for sneaking out of the guy's dorm freshman year and yeah I, I went with it was me and Rommel Jarrett and we snuck out and we found ourselves like in the field like back behind the guy's dorm and then we we thought we were fine we were like laying on the hill looking at the stars and then we looked out and we saw people coming with flashlights like searching for us and so then we snuck back rommel turned himself in but i tried to sneak back but yeah that's my memory i guess so it's good to see everyone and i i i'm glad you guys all joined so did you successfully get in without being caught no um, I made it like right outside my window, but the grass was wet. And so when I tried to run up the wall, I just like slipped. And then I forgot who it was that came and found me. Um, but someone walked out the door and they're like, hey, Caleb, come here. They, they caught me in the bushes and stuff. I have a lot more like way better memories. Like I have a lot of fond memories of glass. So that's not like the only memory I have. That's. And ever, uh, ever since then, Caleb, you perfected your parkour since then, right? Since freshman year. <laughs> no, he was, he was already working on it, building up to that. Caleb. What? Oh, hey, Jordan. No, man, this is actually, I think this is the first time I've talked to you in like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> We're great. Yeah. I remember, I remember you telling me about that the next morning, and I remember being panicked that you were going to get kicked out. <clears throat> Dean yeah. Hill, do you want to share any, uh, any, uh, um, any highlight? We, I think you were, you were Dean then, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, re I remember the, um, that night that those, that, Caleb, that you two guys snuck out. Um, not the first guys to ever sneak out. Did you, was it either one of you guys that had colored your um, shoes with uh, black magic marker so you guys would blend in outside? Was that you guys? Yeah, that was me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, so yeah, so I definitely, re definitely remember. I hadn't thought about that story in a while, but I, I, I remember like, you know, the fact that you guys just went out and just like sat in nature and just looked up at the at the stars like I was like, oh, that that seems kind of nice. But, you know, you can't be outside yeah. um, at this hour. Um, I was glad that we found you. You know, anytime people are missing, that's, you never want to call somebody's parent and be like, yes, we've lost track of your son. We don't know <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. OK, anything else real quick? Anything else you want to say, Caleb, on that? Um. No, it's just good to see everyone. So, yeah. Nice. Okay, so I feel like this is like a GC session. Like, okay, we have a point of order here. Um, so, Courtney, I'm, I'm looking in the, um, in the comments here, and Courtney made a really good point. So, um, I think it would be, like, way more beneficial for everybody to be able to say something. And we just go kind of like, um, everybody kind of just give an update on, on where they're at and what they're doing. Um, and then what, if, if, if and when time allows, then we'll share updates on... Uh, or uh, stories. So um, I'll just kind of like, I'll just kind of like pick people if everybody's okay with that. Um, and so we can kind of like just speed through it. Um, but feel free to share, um, you know, about yourself and, and whatnot. So um, Miss Hall, would you uh, would you go and then David, David Dupree? Okay. David Despress is after Miss Hall. So <laughs> go. you can go first, Miss Hall. Oh, you're I am still here. I think this is year 30. 
Um, so thank you to Caleb or whoever said we don't look different, um, which always makes me think, how old did I look when you were here? But that's okay. Um, and I was hoping Alyssa was gonna be on, um, but some of the others of you uh, can relate to this. I am doing essay again. I um, took a break from oh, that wow. for oh, on and off. And that's right, David. And, um, but this year I did that again after doing, um, sponsoring a class for six and a half years, two different classes, not the same class. Um, but, and I'm still here. And other than this online learning stuff, I'm still loving it. Um, and I'm just very grateful that God still allowed me to be here. And it's just, you know, yeah. having a fun time together like this. And, um, you know, that's one of the big reasons why we've stayed so long because we are family and that's just really cool. That's awesome. So on, to that point real quick, before you go, David, um, I just want, before we get faculty that have to leave, um, since we have so many of you guys on here, um, I want everybody, if we could, I just thought of this, but everybody that's a student that had, that was a student at GLAW, if you guys could unmute yourselves and like on three, we'll just say thank you. Because seriously, like you guys were a big part of our lives and, and I was telling Chaplain Hall this over Facebook phone? Messenger, but you guys, you guys like basically helped raise us, especially us that have been there for four years. And um, it made, I mean, we wouldn't, Everybody that's on here wouldn't be on here if you guys, you know, hadn't made an impact on our lives. So, um, so for you to be working at Glaw for as long as you have, Miss Hall, and the the essays that you've helped lead out in, and um, it's just Glaw wouldn't be what it is without without people like you. So, um, so if you guys could unmute yourselves just for a second, everybody that's a student. All right, on three, thank we say thank you. you. Ready? One, two, three. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just curious how many of the faculty are still working there because I haven't been back since I graduated. So if you still work there, can you just like raise your hand? Oh, okay, cool. And then everybody can mute themselves again if you don't mind. Um, thank you for that, Ms. Hall. David, uh, David Dupree. Hey, Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Samuel, go for it. Yeah, do you mind if, because we have the kids here for a few seconds? Yes, yeah. Oh, oh, before you go, if anybody else is going to have to like peace out really quick, like just um just uh message me and I'll and I'll call you call you next. David, hang tight. That's fine. All right, hello everybody. We are Oh, you want to say hello? Hi. We are um well, we were in Gla we were in Gla from two no. Oh, oh, 06 to, uh, to 11. Oh, 06 to 2011. Then we went to Andrews. Um, and now we are in Brandon, Florida. Um, and uh, let's see. I am, I am not a, well, I don't do biology anymore. I don't teach in the traditional way anymore. I do blogging and online marketing, and social media and that kind of stuff. And um, you want to say something? Oh, yes. Um, I'm at home with our kids. I did not return to work after we left Great Lakes. I finished my master's and, uh, but I did, con I have continued directing. I haven't stopped directing since then. Uh, currently directing a women's ensemble within a choir, a, a community choir. Uh, but we're both homeschooling our kids uh, together. So I'm a mother and uh, they're a choir director still. And these are our kiddos. Who, who's this one? Noah. Noah, tell them something about you, Noah. They can't hear me yet. They can hear you. They can hear you. So talk, say something. Did you say they can't hear you? They can't hear you. Say something. Cool. I have an RC car. He has a remote control car. Everyone. I can't Yay. hear them. You can, no, because they're not talking. They're just listening to you. Say hi, Odelia. Hi. How old are you guys? I don't hear seven. No. <laughs> what is that, seven? Yeah. Uh, Noah is how old? Seven. And how old are you, Adelia? Four. She's gonna be four in a few weeks. So couple weeks. That's yeah. that's what we're doing, and this is where we are. And these are our kiddos. This is the little Leslie, and this is the little Marguerite. No. <laughs> no. All right, that's it. Love it. Love it. Um. All right. Let's. Uh, oh, Heather Moore. Heather, go for it. Hey guys, oh, I can't even tell you how good it is to see all of you guys, especially faculty and, and everybody. 
Um, I'm at Andrews University. Um, I did my four-year bachelor's degree there, took a year off, um, because I didn't know what I was doing with my life, (laughs) and I came back to Andrews, and I'm getting my school psychology um, degrees, and will be graduating next year, if all turns out well with the schools. (laughs) And I will be um, a fully licensed, fully certified school psych that can work anywhere in the country. And I'm really looking forward to it. But for now, I'm in Barron Springs, enjoying the booming metropolis that is Barron. (laughs) But I do love it here. So it's good to see all of you guys. And as Mr. Riker would say, the um, Adventist ghetto, uh, Barron Springs. You are so correct. um, Yeah. All right. Thanks, Heather. Um, Good to see you. And uh, Levitz, we'd love to hear from you. And um, you are not muted, so go for it. Hello, everybody. (laughs) We do have an appointment, so we have to go here in just a minute. But we are in the blooming metropolis of Collegedale, Tennessee. Very much Adventist bill down here, but we are enjoying it very much. We moved down here about two years ago. Greg is the director of auditing for the Georgia Cumberland Conference, and I work at Southern Adventist University as an office manager in the School of Journalism and Communication. And we have our youngest daughter living close to us, which is really fun, and her husband. And our oldest daughter, Bethany, is out in um, Albuquerque with her husband, so a little farther than we'd like. But we're doing well, you wanna say anything? <laughs> well, we're, we're really enjoying College Dale. Um, It's great to see all of you and think of all the memories. Um, Marguerite, I was thinking of the time that we were able to take the choir to uh, a friend's house right right near the uh, GLA, and they actually sang in his home for him. I don't know if you remember that, but that was was a neat memory. And um, I remember Ryan Coy, picking up the tuba and uh, and playing badminton with you with those incredible reach. You'd play with either arm and reach the whole court. But uh, I somehow I still got married. What's that? Dada. I said and somehow I still got married, Dada. even while playing the tuba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. But it's great to see each one of you and, and uh, all the memories that we've had uh, Ms. Hall to work 24 years with you and all the rest of you. Um, and Cindy right. And, and I was just thinking she had said 30 years there and we got to be there 24 of them with, with the rest of the team. And uh, it's neat to see uh, all of you still there and carrying on the torch. So that's awesome. Keep up the good work. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> Great to see you guys. Yeah. And just again, to your point, good to see you guys, just to your, to you guys' point about being at GLAW for so long. I mean, you know, with any business or with any corporation or any organization that has so much turnover, then, you know, it's not, you're not going to have as, as, as good quality. Um, and, and it's a testament to GLAW that, you know, the faculty stayed for so long and that's why, um, so many of us, um, had a good experience there and, uh, and we are where we're at. So, um, so thank you guys again. Uh, Rikerts, you're up. We are, Sarah's coming in. She's, uh, we have a little foster baby boy that we've had since August. This is Ryder. He's everywhere and in everything. And um, we don't have to block out his face for this uh, thing, right? No, as long as as you just don't like post it online or anything. Or if you do post it, just block him out. Yeah. Um, Yeah, he's been a fest for... Since August, seven months. Yeah. We're in Indiana. I teach at Indiana Academy. I'm history and Bible teacher and chaplain. And we've been here. Well, this was going to be my sixth school year, but it's like my five and uh, it's like my five and three quarters school year, I suppose. And Sarah is. Oh, um, I'm a nurse practitioner at a couple hospitals in Indianapolis. I work with a hospitalist group there. I'm actually getting ready for work right now and on night shift. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, it's cool seeing everybody. And some of you I see more often than others, but those of you who I don't see very often, mm-hmm. I... So nice to see everybody. We love you guys. Yeah. And Caleb, macaroni, I just got a trampoline. It's in my backyard. <laughs> Good times. 
All Jordan, right, do you want to, do, Jordan, do you want to share a super quick memory since you guys have to go? Oh, I don't know. There's top, there's top memory. Oh man, there's a lot. Cause I, I lived there for 19 years, but, um, okay. Well, uh, starting to hang out with her, I suppose the end of my sophomore year, the end of her junior year, we started hanging out and, um, that's one of my best memories of her from there, I guess. Uh, other than that, hanging out with hanging out with Caleb and Danny a lot. Um, Parkour. Getting, yeah, getting Danny to do things for money. <laughs> and Sarah's telling me that I need to get off because I'm long-winded. Well, there are a lot of people that want to share. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, yeah, see ya. All right. Um... All right, David, since I gave you the floor earlier, I'm going to let you go. And then if anybody else needs to, like, go, like, legitimately go soon, um, text, text uh, the group so, um, so then I can call on you. So, David, the floor is yours. Hey, I'm David. I graduated in 08, and uh, right now I'm driving 18-wheeler and purchased my own truck and seeing the country in 49 states and Canada. Wow. And one memory that I have is getting in – uh, trouble for working too many hours with uh, who's the head of the cafeteria Blaisdale saying I was working too many hours but Mr. Lovett said I was fine yes um, I don't think I'm muted yeah and I think the Levitts are off of here but um, yeah I, I know David I, I remember David is like working the most of anybody um, he D Dean Hill I'm gonna unmute you here for a second Go for it. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Whether it was uh, the cafeteria, the dorm, I don't, I mean, Gloss students don't have a ton of free time, but any free moment that he had, I feel like he was looking for somewhere to pitch in and help. But yeah, it, I don't think I've ever seen anybody work as, as, as much or as often as David did. Nice. Yeah. And then people like Angie Boothby and Sam Slickers would add up the time cards. And I was supposed to too because Ms. Powers told me to, but I was in the bookstore talking to other people and probably selling my own stuff. Okay. Mrs. Heslop, you're up. All right. Aaron had to step away. Aaron Powers, who graduated in 2008, is busy staying with me at the moment. Um, she's a physical therapist and a traveling physical therapist, and she gets to hang out with me for a few months. So that's kind of exciting. It's been fun. I'm still here at Great Lakes. This is my 37th year, I think it is. Um, I am not SA sponsor anymore, like I was with some of you. I have been a class sponsor. I'm now in my 11th year of class sponsoring, I think, because I've had two full classes. Some of you were in my classes, 2009, 2013, 2017. I guess it's more than that, years than that. And now the class of 2021 is my class as well. So still teaching math, still keeping my foot in the rear of lots of people, trying to get them to do their math and learn their math. And um, different because it's Mr. Heslop's not around, but still love being here at Great Lakes. We love you, Mrs. H. We miss I Mr. Have H. To say too, Mrs. Heslop gave us great recommendations on our travel trip to South Africa. It's one of the most beautiful countries we've ever seen. So I highly recommend it once this virus blows over, if anyone gets to go. That's awesome. And Mrs. H, real quick, um, tell us tell us uh, what it's like to do math over uh, over Zoom or over whatever. I will tell you that if this is how I had to teach from here on, I would be retiring at the end of the school year. I know that I get my fill from being with my students, not just seeing my students and hearing my students. Um, I have a whole contraption. My son Darren helped me from afar set up a contraption, so I have this camera that my phone that shines down on my whiteboard and I'm able to do it on there. And so it's been a little bit better than I feared it was going to be, but it certainly doesn't do for me what teaching does for me other times. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for all you guys do, especially under the circumstances. So, um, so I don't, um, I don't see anybody right now. So, uh, Curtis, you're the next one on my screen. Curtis is under satellite, everybody, so. Well, um, I, I'm at my office right now. Better, better, better internet over here. Uh, um, so I'm at, uh, in the Potomac Conference in Virginia uh, as a camp manager for Camp Blue Ridge. I live up here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and this is my wife, Heidi, if you haven't met her. And my other, 
wild girl. Uh, she's over here. Let me see if I can uh, show you real quick. She's uh, going going crazy here. Um, oh, she's waving. There you go. Her name's Meredith. Um, yeah, we just uh, we we enjoy living out in the middle of nowhere where there's no cell phone service, satellite internet, and uh, all the above. So yeah. And I, I still got my dog Jack. She's out running around right now. She's doing good. So um, it's so good to see all of you guys. That's awesome. Appreciate that, Curtis. Good to see you too. Curtis always told me he's like, you know, Valiers. I don't care what they say. I like you. <laughs> so anyway, um, okay, Mister uh, Mister Saving the World, uh, one patient at a time, Ryan Sendow. Unmute yourself. Hey guys, there you what's go. going on? It's good to see all the faculty here. It's awesome. So I haven't seen you guys in a long time. So uh, just quick update. I am in the Metro Detroit area. I'm about to finish uh, my master's in psychiatric nurse practitioner in July. I'm going to hopefully do some telepsych. So this right here is perfect. So just uh, doing all this right here. So that's that's what I'm up. That's what I'm up to. Uh, I've just been nursing for the last ten years or last eight years and uh yeah i'm just uh just wanted to see catch up on you catch up with you guys and see all your familiar faces and it's been uh it's uh great to see you great to see you guys again you guys uh yeah glad was great so thank you guys for all you did when we were back in high school and uh yeah it's great to see you guys awesome thanks Bye. ryan no Dude, thanks for doing uh, psych NP. That's a uh, that's a field that we really need. So thanks for uh, thanks for doing that. Absolutely. Not it's not easy. Ryan had one of the funkiest uh, three like uh, forms with basketball that I've ever seen, but it, the ball went in. So I will, um, I will say I miss intramurals a lot uh, back in high school. That was probably my, one of my favorite memories over at Glass, just being over there. So good time. Yeah. Good time. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for jumping on here. Um, again, anybody who's who's on here, if you like need to go, if you're working the ER and you are on a break and you need to like, you know, jump off real quick, um, just message me um, and let me know. Um, otherwise, we have Mr. Luke Sherwin. Oh, hey guys. Uh, yeah, I'm Luke. For those of you that don't know me, which I think I know most of you guys, um, I'm. I graduated in 2007, uh, went to Andrews for about seven of eight years, did a year off in there for uh, be a student missionary over in Micronesia. Um, and then I uh, graduated with my degree in physical therapy and I've been a physical therapist since I guess 2015 now and um, kind of travel around Texas, Oklahoma, a couple different places for a little, for about a year. And then I settled here in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, and uh, uh, married my uh, wife Alicia, who she was on here just a second ago. Um, you might have, some of you might have seen her um, about two and a half years ago, and we just started living here. Um, I'm still working. I work today. Uh, right, I got home right right in time for this, thankfully. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, things are things are going well. Can't really say anything else other than that. Awesome, man. Thanks for sharing. Um... So next on my screen here is uh, the famous Jessica, formerly known as Weaver Beans. Uh, unmute yourself. There you go. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Thanks for organizing this. This is really fun to see you guys. Um, I'm in a park right now, social distancing, but getting fresh air. Um, and my husband, we're having a picnic. Michael Beans. Um, what up? <laughs> uh, we're in Ohio. So we after uh, after college, I moved out to Denver for a couple years, worked for the conference out there. And then in 2014, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. I moved to Ohio. So I started working for Kettering College. So I started as the marketing director, did that for a bit. Now I work with like both marketing and admission. So I do a lot of enrollment work. So 
Um, it's really interesting walking with our healthcare students through all of this because they're um, going to be right in the in the middle of it as well. Um, we have two dogs, two fur babies, but no actual babies. Um, <laughs> do you guys know anyone who's trying to adopt out a child? We're looking, so please let me know. Um, <laughs> we've had a hard time finding one up until this point, so um, we're just kind of taking it one day at a time and seeing. I don't know what doors God opens, then just living life here and enjoying ourselves. It's really good to see you guys. Love it. Thanks, Jess. Good to see you, Michael. You too, man. All right. Um, so I have next Chaplin and um, Chaplin Hall and his wife. I don't know. People probably don't call you Chap anymore, but I do. I, I will forever call you Chap. Chap and his um, heart plane wife, uh, Mrs. Hall. <laughs> oh man, it's so great to see everybody. Um, we're in the Lansing area, working in the Department of Education, supporting our phenomenal teachers all across the conference. I miss the classroom. Uh, like Mrs. H said, there's nothing like being in the classroom and seeing that interaction happening. A lot of the people that are still at Great Lakes were our teachers too. So when we said thank you, when everybody said thank you, we said it too. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we just love all of you and we're just, we're blessed um, to, to be able to work for the Lord and, and to see how all of you all are doing. Anything you want to add? <laughs> we introduced the kids already, but they yeah. left. <laughs> awesome. Thanks guys. And fun fact, if you don't remember, um, Mrs. Hall played the harp for a uh, banquet. I don't What banquet was that? Oh man, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot there. I, I have a weird memory, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, next I have uh, Mr. David Fernandez. And his video's off hey. and okay. he's back. I'm back on. <laughs> I had to turn it off to go eat dinner. How's everybody doing? Good to see you guys. I uh, just thought of something. I was actually telling my brother, I was typing it up to t have him tell a story, but one time, Chaplain Hall was sick and he was on, um, I guess, what supervision, I think is what they called it. And he had to be in the gym for rec. And even though he wasn't feeling well, he went in the gym and he went, sat down at the uh, chest press machine, oh, put the thing all the way on the, maxed it out, just started ripping it out like that. <laughs> and I never forgot that he was very, very strong. And I, I remember when I, uh, went to academy days in eighth grade he was huge he was working out all the time and uh what are you, what are you he took his hand and my hand just felt like it was disintegrating was like, <laughs> and he's the dean holy cow i guess i better behave when i get here someday <laughs> it was always very cool so chaplain hall thank you for your leadership appreciated bible class i still remember a lot of things that you taught um and i just always remember you as a very strong and and uh powerful leader who paid attention to every single student but you have very high standards very professional and uh so i just wanted to say that because i haven't seen you for a while and, and uh he's good i know you all you faculty really appreciate hearing how you impacted the students and i think all of us students on here could take quite a while individually just talking about all that we remember and appreciate about you guys but um so Never forget that we remember you and uh, we always think of you very fondly and we respect you a lot and you've made more of a difference than we are able to tell you, especially in such a brief moment like this. But um, maybe next time we get to see you guys and we have a little bit more time, we can tell each of you how much we appreciate what you did and, and specifically why. So, Well, praise yeah. God, David. I just want to say, you know, I, I don't, you know, everybody else that, that taught at Great Lakes can comment too, but I think one of the reasons why Great Lakes is such a great place to work is because of the great students that walk the halls and sit in the classroom. It, it was just a, the, the most beautiful time of my entire career was working at Great Lakes, um, especially teaching Bible with all of you guys. It was just such a powerful experience for me. So you guys were as much or more of a blessing to me as a faculty member than than what you feel and ultimately all the praise really goes to the lord doesn't it because yeah. he's the one that made all of it possible yeah that's cool it's it's interesting how the influence goes both ways you know and, and we don't always 
think about how much of an impact we're making on people because we're often being impacted by them. I, I think that's a really beautiful thing. So awesome. David, did you tell us, you. did you tell us what, where you're at and what you're doing? Uh, I live in Holly, Michigan right now. I'm teaching English as a second language. I have a couple of things going on and with that. I'm seeing about a job working out on the East coast, but I'm open-minded about that. Um, and I'm also going to be starting some cybersecurity classes in May. So just trying to layer my employable skill sets. I went to Glon, graduated in 2008, and then I went to Arise that following fall. And uh, after that, I went to Andrews. And I graduated with a BS in political science and a BA in Spanish for translation. And I learned Portuguese fluently while I was there. And um, now I'm teaching myself Hebrew and Arabic and French. I'm almost fluent in French. Probably in, by the end of the summer, I should be good to go. And um, while I have you guys all on here, while I'm able to talk to you, I started a podcast recently. I hope you guys will all check it out. I think you'll all really enjoy it. It's called the Edification Station Podcast. And I'll send a link in the chat here in a minute. And um, basically what it's about is exploring the character of God through the Bible and showing how many times we have misperceptions of who he is and why he allows certain things to pass or why he does certain things because we frame him with an imperfect understanding because we base our under our relationships with broken people on um we we impose those on who god is and so that's why a lot of times we have a hard time feeling close to him so in a nutshell that's what the podcast is about it's on spotify awesome. and i'm working on getting it on some other platforms as well sweet man appreciate that you if, uh, if you don't get it you know send him a dm slide slide into dave's dms um if you don't <laughs> know what dm right if you don't want, don't don't know what dm means dm me and let me know and i can tell you what dm means um <laughs> so um <laughs> jonathan benson um it, if you're there you can go otherwise i have uh, dean hill jonathan let me know if uh oh jonathan go for it my man, go for it, my man. <laughs> dean hill you're oh, next. um i'm jonathan benson i graduated in 2014 um, I went to Southern for a while, did a couple years as a missionary. I came back to the States about a year ago to finish aviation and mechanics. And I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm a dean right now in, at a school in Maryland. So Nice, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good to see you, man. It's good to see all the staff, too. It's, uh, it's been a long time. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Jonathan. All right, Dean Hill, go for it. Oh, by the way, before, sorry, before you, go ahead, Ms. Hall. No, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but um, I just, you know, Jonathan saying that and, you know, just looking, um, I'm going to piggyback on what um, Chaplain Hall said, but, um, and that is, you know, it does truly work both ways because, you know, you can be, you can put yourself out there, but somebody has to reciprocate that. Um, and I just feel like our school, God has blessed in such an amazing way because the students love us back. Um, you know, and again, the students can love us if we don't love them. And if it doesn't work both ways, it just isn't that amazing family that we are. And that's just really cool. Um, but I was also going to say, besides seeing you and hear what you're doing and all that stuff, those of you that are actually um, involved in education, um, in some capacity that just has a special place in our hearts just saying not that you are more special but those things just really you know it's kind of like I suppose anybody when if somebody does something that's kind of like what you're doing that's just a really cool thing so thank you for doing that appreciate that okay guys I'll admit it we all love each other okay fine no I'm just kidding we do no you guys are awesome um, okay Dean Hill you're up Real quick, Jonathan Benson, are Matt and Krista there? Because I'm sure Krista would want to jump on here and say hi if she has a chance. All right, Jonathan, answer that in a question. Sorry, right, Jonathan. Um, yeah, um, Krista just got called in the hospital, so she's working, and Matt is being a bum somewhere. I don't, I don't know. Okay. All right, Sorry. You're up. Yeah, um, I attended Great Lakes Adventist Academy my junior and senior year, graduated in 2001. Um, man, I had such a good time. I wish that I could have uh, been there for all four years. Um, before I say what I'm doing now, I'll just give a quick memory. Um, I don't remember, I mean, I applied myself. I wasn't on special study hall. I didn't have bad grades. But most of my memories, I don't think about all the 
the homework um, and all and studying and all that. Um, I don't even I don't remember if I got an academic or a general diploma or what my GPA was, but I do remember um, in Bio two, Mr. Carter's class, that um, there was one assignment that I turned in, and he wrote "Good job" on my paper. I don't remember if it was it was an A and A minus what it was, but man, that just that uh, that was awesome. Like if if you've taken a Carter class, you understand. You win at life. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I really had to apply myself in that class. And um, the fact that he wrote that on my paper was like, I mean, I, I still remember that now. I had a, had a big, big impact on me. Um, yeah, just, and so I came back in 2004, the 2004, 2005 school year as a task force dean in the boys dorm. And uh, was just very fortunate enough to, you know, continue on there. Um, spent 14 years in the boys dorm. Um, really that was always been my dream job. Um, and even though I'm not doing that anymore to be able to do that for 14 years was just, you know, such a huge blessing. And to, again, piggyback on what Chaplain Hall was saying and, um, Miss Hall, um, you know, the students put the great in Great Lakes Adventist Academy, like seriously, it's just such a blessing to, um, to know all of you, to have been a part of your lives. Um, if it's four years, three, two, or one, um, and you know, which really makes this uh, quarantine and social distancing thing that we're doing so hard right now, because you know our hearts really long to be with our students. Um, when we get to our breaks, whether it's spring break or Christmas break or a home leave, you know, we really need that. But man, it's just been been too long. Currently, I'm working as a vice principal, um, so I just moved across the street, but still working at Great Lakes Adventist Academy. Lucky me. Awesome. Fantastic. Thanks for still, thanks for being there. And I have to say that um, Dean Hill is still, I would consider him one of my best friends. And probably if I were to confide in anybody, the deepest, darkest secret, it would be him. So thank yep. you for, uh, thank you for being a, a good friend of mine. Go, um, so next on my list, again, Again, okay, I'm not muted. Again, if you need to go, we wanna hear from you, okay? If you don't need to go, hang on, I will call your name. Um, but if you do need to go, let me, let, put, put in the comments and I will call you, call you next because we wanna hear from you. So next uh, we have um, a wonderful family um, that uh, has, is still working at GLA and um, has been working hard in the cafeteria for a long time, uh, along with her son, who is known as Ducky. Uh, you guys are on mute. I'm trying to unmute you. Can you guys unmute yourself? There you go. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you guys? Oops. So can you guys hear us? Yeah, we can. Okay. So tell us I didn't even hear what. I didn't even hear all of what you were saying. Oh, gotcha. I was just saying that you uh, you've been rocking the cafeteria for a long time, and we appreciate it. And uh, your son is known as Ducky. He is known as Ducky. Yeah. Only to you guys. I don't call him that. <laughs> That's like me and J Val. People don't call me J Val anymore. So tell us, uh, tell us, uh, tell us what's going on with you guys. Where you guys are at? Um, actually, we're living in campus housing now on Faculty Drive. In um, what would have? Whoops. What did I do? Um, what would have been? Uh, the Smarts House, the duplex, and am I still on? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're enjoying life here. We have my mother-in-law and adopted mom living with us, so we have a house full. Aaron's here just about every day with us. Yep, and I'm still in the area. Um, working at uh, Heritage Health Foods, which is used to be known as uh, Sear Lake Foods. So been there for a few years. Yeah, it's it's really a blessing to be in this area. I, I just have never known uh, a family, family sense of, I don't know how to put it, but you know, all of you guys, you're our kids. It's so exciting to see you all. And, and it doesn't matter when we see you or how many years it is, you're still our kids and our faculty throughout the years have just been amazing. And it, it just, it's a dream job really. I mean, sure it's just the cafeteria, but to me it's the mission 
and it's just being able to be a part of a group of people that I get to be a part of. It's awesome. We had a big change in, we had a big change in the cafeteria this year. Um, we no longer have Mr. Blaisdell there. He retired. Um, we have, yeah, I know. It's really sad. I miss him. He's one of the closest guy friends that I have. Um, I just saw him last month. He's up at Camp Osabo and seems to be really enjoying himself. What is, um, is he, have, is he cooking up there? Yeah. Nice. Yep. Yep. And then we have Mrs. Stephanie Howard as our director and she is phenomenal. We, we have, can you believe we're cooking a lot of mostly, I'm not saying all, but mostly vegan food and it seems to be received very well. It's unusual. That's awesome. Well, it is awesome. That's fantastic. Well, we appreciate, we appreciate you. And just, just to say the cafeteria is not just the cafeteria. Like we would <laughs> not have breaded ravioli and ice cream station with a cone. And oh, we still have that. With a cone? With a cone. With a cone. Nice. Ooh, That's awesome. And I, get to, I have been able to sometimes serve ice cream. Wow. It's been, I think Dean Hill has done it. Um, Mr. Garcia does it pretty much most of the time. Mrs. Papendick has done it. It's very fun. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for all your service as well um, in the cafeteria, Mrs. Ward. Thank you for putting this together, Jordan. Yeah, I miss welcome. you. Yeah, I miss and you I miss too. everybody else. Miss you too. Ducky, good to see you. Miss you too. You two are probably one of the most genuine people uh, that I know. So um, thanks for being on here. Uh, okay, next we have uh, Miss Danae Church. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Danae, you're next. You're next. Um, Leanne Heilig. Leanne? If she's still here, yeah, she is. I went to go get. I went to go get a snack. I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, first of all, Leanne, real quick, I, I, I'm sorry. Don't hate me, but I did share your um your, your contraband thing you told me the the other night. Oh, I don't care. That's fine. Yeah, we're know, past. We're you know that's what I don't know eleven. What what year is it? <laughs> two thousand twenty. And I graduated in two thousand seven. That's kind of hard to believe. Um, I don't even know where to start. Um, I guess I'll start with where I'm at right now. Right now I'm in uh, beautiful Tucson, Arizona. I'm a travel ner ER nurse. Just got off working the past three nights. So Dave Fernandez texted me and I was like, let me just brush my teeth and get myself together here so I can be on video. Um, it's only, I think I woke up at 2.30. So, cause we're three hours behind, um, uh, Michigan time. Um, yeah, things are going okay. Last night was a little bit rough, but <clears throat> in Tucson, it's not, we're not like have being inundated with a ton of patients like other places. <clears throat> so that's a blessing. Um, so I'm here until for sure till the end of April, maybe till the end of May. We'll see how my, how my contract goes. And, um, I was going to tell a story. What was I going to say? Well, I'll, I'll say, some, I guess, some memories based on what other people have talked about. Um, I do, I, I I agree with whoever said that they enjoy, oh, I think um, Fernandez <clears throat> said that he enjoyed um, Dean Hall, Chaplain Hall's um, Bible classes. I also get the fortunate story of hearing uh, uh, Jeremy Hall stories from my brother also, Julian Heilig, who um, went to school with him. So those are always fun, flag football stories and stuff. Um, but I remember I have always been a night owl, which is why I've been working nights as a nurse for 10 years. And I would do my homework after everybody went to sleep in the dorm. It'd be like one o'clock in the morning. And then I'd be like, okay, maybe I should write this paper for advanced comp, or maybe I should finish my math homework or whatever. And so then that meant sometimes I would be quite sleepy during class. And I remember specifically like having laying my head down in class in uh, Chaplain Hall's Bible class. And then he would be asking for, you know, asking questions and I would pop up and say, respond to the question. Everybody would look at me like, we thought you were sleeping. I was like, no, I'm not sleeping, but I'm going to get my participation points. <laughs> and so, you know, that was everybody. It, known I was known for sleeping anywhere and anywhere unfortunately during 
choir in the choir loft in class, but that's just the life that I live. So that's awesome. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, I don't know if Sindal's still on here or not, but I was gonna throw a jab at him. I, he said something about playing intramural basketball. Um, <laughs> him and uh, Ke- so Kevin Mallet or AKA Jamaica. He, I don't know. I think he was the instigator of us playing one, me and Ryan Sendow playing one on one, and uh, Ryan Sendow did not win. <laughs> I won the one on one, so I was like to rub, rub that in his face a little. It's one bit. of the it's one of the low lights of Gla was you beat me. <laughs> so I will say that. <laughs> so. But you know, people always ask me to still play basketball now. I said, well, it's a little bit harder to find people to play basketball with nowadays. Um, but yeah, I do still, I still, still, I do still like to play if I can. Usually with the Indovies when I'm home in Lansing, usually we'll find some court outside or something and play, play there, but that's fun. Um, what else is going to say? One last thing. Yeah, there was another story I was going to say, but I don't know. I can't remember right now. So, um, I, oh, I remember what I was going to say. Okay, sorry. I call right, it night shift. Last one. Last one. I'm sorry. Is that, you know, um, we're talking about the faculty and the influence we have on, on other people. And me going to public university right out of high school was quite a culture shock, obviously. And when people say that you went to a boarding academy, they look at you like you're strange and crazy <laughs> um, out in public. And so, but then that gave me opportunity to witness to them and tell them, you know, I was called Great Lakes Adventist Academy. And then, you know, I would always explain, you know, what does Adventist mean? And, you know, then people find out that I'm vegetarian and that, you know, I don't swear and, you know, all the things that make us peculiar. And so I would take that as an opportunity not to avoid talking about it, but to share about it. So just within the name of our academy, I would, you know, use that as a witnessing opportunity to share with others. So, um, you know, and I gave, I led like a Bible study group at Campus Ministries at U of M um, for a couple of years and um, carried on the, you know, Flame Keeper tradition. I don't think anybody, I haven't heard anybody talk about Flame Keepers yet, but um, um, that was really good practice and training to kind of start carrying on uh, my own, you know, doing personal Bible studies with people, with my friends at, in college too. So anyway, all right, I'll, I'll stop now. <laughs> Appreciate it, Leanne. Appreciate yeah. it. Um, so again, if you have to go, let me know. Danae, you're going to be up next. I want to say two things real quick. Um, Lacey, just if you aren't able to see the comments or haven't seen them, um, I don't know if Lacey's still on here, but she said, hey, I'm going to type uh, the, my info in here. I have quite a bit going on in my house right now. Uh, I went to Glaude 2007 to 2009, class of 09. I live in Oak Park, uh, Michigan. I'm a supervisor for a home infusion therapy company called Option Care. I've been married to my husband, Aaron, for six years. Good for you. And have a seven-month-old son, oh, Sebastian, I think it is. My thing. Yeah, Sebastian. Um, so thanks for that, Lacey. And then also, I feel like this is like the GC, like I'm doing point of borders again. Um, and then also, uh, David Fernandez, is, for David Fernandez wants, uh, Mr. Berlin to know that he looks like a G. Um, okay. Danae Church, um, you are up next. Cool. Hi. So and then Zach Crane um, after that. So, I for the next 85 days, since I'm counting now, um, I am Danae Church. And then I'm also the head girls dean at Fletcher Academy. Um, But I will have to leave both of those behind because I didn't marry this guy. Uh, Scott Bruner, he worked at camp eventually. I had to work at Camp Asable 10 years to finally find someone. So that was what happened there. And then this is Fletch, uh, kind of because of the whole, I work at Fletcher Academy on Fletcher Academy Drive in Fletcher, North Carolina. So my dog's name is Fletch. Um, and so I've been here two years. I was out in Washington at Upper Columbia Academy for two years before this as like task force deaning, um, with Joe Rivera and, um, he was the assistant boys dean and yeah, so now I get to figure out what I'm going to do next. 
um, cause I have to move. Um, so yeah, I went from just being me here by myself with 45 girls to no girls. Well, two girls and, uh, this guy and two of his siblings and somebody from Metro church up in Michigan's now is living here. So there's like seven of us that made this weird, like COVID-19 family. Um, <laughs> and otherwise like memories from gla yeah it's just a bunch of tons of random ones um but it was definitely the deans at gla that made me interested in deaning and wanting to get into that and helping out and got my master's in social work because i wanted to like prepare myself as like fully as i could um in that role so this is where i'm at now is thanks to them i don't know what i'm going to do next but um yeah and i um it's fun to see how many of everybody was deans and or are yeah so um i was in the fun car accident that's that happened my junior year um, but I didn't see anybody else here from that wreck. So, um, yeah, that's. Appreciate oh, nice. Sorry. Cool. Go for it. Cool. Thanks for sharing, Danae. I yeah. didn't mean to cut you off. Um, yeah, good to see you. I'm glad you're okay from that car accident. I think I vaguely remember that. I could be wrong, but um, okay. So next we have Zach Crane, which I would like to share. Actually, I'll share right after. Go ahead, Zach. And you have to unmute yourself there, uh, Jim. There you go. Can you guys hear me? You all set? Sweet. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm getting like a bunch of waves. Oh, this, this is so cool. This is seriously incredible. Nice job, Jordan. I am, I'm loving the stories. Uh, so, hey, it's me. Uh, I graduated in 2011 uh, and uh, have since uh, finished my master's in uh, business administration, my bachelor's in accounting. Uh, I live in Orlando, Florida. Um, I am currently acting as the director of anesthesia. So I run a, a 40 provider anesthesia group out in uh, Daytona Beach. Um, I am five weeks on the job. And so on my third day, we went into COVID-19 planning. So this has been the greatest trial by fire of my life this far. And uh, God has been incredibly faithful for me and for the providers that I get to serve. So I am just, uh, the stories of medical uh, practitioners right now just blows me away. So for everyone here who's medical that I know of or don't, thank you so much. You're incredible. And this is, guys, this is just so cool. Uh, a couple of cool memories that I was thinking about. Um, I remember when uh, we had like a crew of us, but with me and Hulsh and uh, Brad Church and Adam DeWitt, would like play songs for girls night i think we did like jason raz i'm yours years ago and uh we did like a senior recognition one and did performances there and that was fun um and uh, i i think that the story of the faculty here are what makes a lot of us the people we are today so uh, guys like dean hill and dean coggins who transformed my life at a very formative time thank you and just all the stories of all the faculty this is just so cool so um i think that's about it man uh this is really, really awesome to be with you all today. So thank you for making my whole, my whole week. Love you guys. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. So two things. One, very quickly, um, fun fact, those who know Casey Moore, um, Dean Hill wrote uh, on, on uh, Girls' Night Out, Guys' Night Out, Girls' Night Out, um, Dean Hill wrote a song. Casey Moore and I performed it at Girls' Night Out. It was called J. Val and Moore. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, secondly, I just want to share something super quick about Zach. Um, Zach, I am going to share this. So like Zach and I didn't, we weren't really friends in, here we go, I know. Zach and I weren't really friends in. Um, Guys, he does this every time we go anywhere to anyone who knew us. It's not like. This is true. Zach and I weren't really friends like in, in, in high school. He was one grade below me. And, and I, I realized like, well we weren't really friends and I kind of was annoyed by him because he was one grade below me and he was like, like friends with all the, you know, faculty and the deans and stuff like that. And I'm just like, this kid is annoying. And, um, so then we come down to Florida, we both end up here and then we become like the best of friends. Um, and we still are the best of friends. Um, and I, so I had like an epiphany and I realized why I couldn't stand him is because I was just like him. Um, and, um, and, and, and at gloss. So, um, but yeah, Zach, Zach is one of my best friends, uh, down here. So it's, it's, it's really cool to reconnect. So him and him and Ron and me and, and Jake Sokolis, we hang out quite a bit. So. 
Hey, I, I just, Jordan, before I'm done, I want to add two shout outs. One is uh, Big Crane couldn't be here, uh, but Andrew says hi to you all. Um, he is doing really, really well. He's married and living in New York City, and they are safe and fine. Uh, but he said hi to everyone. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was waiting for that. And then uh, it is cool. And uh, my roommate is Ron Boothby. So funny turn of events. Uh, literally seven years later, Ron moved in here. Uh, and so we live together out here in Orlando. So um, it's, it's a crazy world. But we, uh, we're carrying on some of our glad traditions with uh, Jordan and Jake out here in Orlando. So love you guys. Great seeing you. Take care. Appreciate it, Zach. All right, Mr. Uh, the tallest person that I think ever graced their presence at uh, Great Lakes Amos Academy. And I don't have to say his name. Hey, guys. Um... Ryan graduated in 08. Uh, this is uh, my wife, Christine. Uh, we are still in school, um, <laughs> even after 12 years later. Uh, third year in residency, um, one more year to go, and then uh, looking at a year of fellowship in sports interventional spine medicine. Um, uh, it was uh, interesting. I was looking at the chat, and uh, Dean Hall had said something about you know all the medical providers, all the different people that are in the medical field, and something about the rigorous academics at GLA. I'm not sure if it was, the, the academics were great, but I think it was just the whole collective experience and how much time the faculty spent, like, you know, with us and doing things. Uh, I remember Miss Hall and Mrs. Ward with SA and uh, Mr. Carter. We, like, did a banquet, and we dreamed up this crazy idea of, like, doing, like, a pirate theme. So we had, like, a ship with a plank, and we had, like, this cave with treasure in it. And we're like, oh, we need something to drink. So, like, let's do ginger beer. And we didn't know how to make ginger beers, but Mr. Carter figured out some way how to do it, and it was delicious. It was amazing. And it was, like, those little things where, like, above and beyond the academics, like, it's, like, those, those things that really, like, count and matter in your life it was, like, one of the best things about going to Glaw and having, you know, that experience. Appreciate that, Ryan. Very nice. Uh, I'm sorry, I was looking at comments. Did you tell us about your family? Oh, um, I have uh, uh, my wife, Christine, got married in 2012, so it's going on eight years now. We have two children, um, Jonathan, who's four, and Hudson, who is one, going to be two here in a little bit. Very nice. Awesome. Yeah. Good to see you guys. Um, so two things real quick. One, um, yeah, real quick on Casey Moore. I remember he would come, like he would literally go to the dorm and take a shower and he would have all of his hair, like a moppy, like a mop on his hair. And he would leave class, come back to Mrs. Brundage's class. And she would just be like puzzled why his hair was so wet when it wasn't when he first got to the class. Um, also, um, he is in the panhandle and he is married. So. That is a fun fact about Casey Moore, if you guys were wondering. Um, okay, and Mr. Burley. never use a towel twice. He had a stack of towels in his closet. He would use one and then put it in the hamper every single time. And then it was just crazy. His closet was very full of towels. Yeah, this guy. All right, Mr. Berlin, you're up. I'm going to unmute you unless or you know how to do it yourself. There you go. I think I got it. <laughs> well, it's great to see everybody and hear everybody's stories. Um, and some of you know that I'm living in Montana, and so that's why I have the uh, beard, although this is shorter than what it was at Christmas time. And I got the long hair, and so. <clears throat> and um, anyway, uh, my wife, we're doing fine here. Uh, both my kids, some of you remember my kids, uh, Mindy, who graduated in 99, and Nick, who graduated in 04. They both live in Bozeman, which is about an hour away from where we live in Townsend. And uh, we're all doing great. Um, I, I have too many memories from GLA to try to start. And I noticed someone had put uh, a while ago that all the deans should write a book. Well, I've been telling my wife that she needs to write a book also, but she has not written one word yet. <laughs> so we'll see, maybe she'll get get one of those out. But anyway, yeah, we're, we're retired. We're just having a good time out here. Um, and it's nice to be close to both of our kids. We get to see them 
quite a bit now and we live between two mountain ranges. So I have mountains out of every window in my house. I, I see mountains and um, there's also a lake that I can see from my back deck. So that's nice too. It's a beautiful place. Um, uh, anyone's welcome to come and visit. Uh, I, I do some subbing at the local high school and they really got, they, it really surprised them when I invited some to come over to my house because they said, that's crazy. I said, what? I said, the school I used to teach at, I had kids over my house um, forever. And thanks, David Fernandez, for reminding me about the bodacious beards. That was, uh, I, I had kind of forgotten about that, but it, yeah, we used to tell each other bodacious beards, and uh, that, was, that was great. And yeah, I still have my legs recently built and starting to work on some more. Actually, now that I, I'm not subbing because our school is closed here, but anyway, um, I should let somebody else uh, um, talk and every, anyone's welcome to come out here and see us anytime um our, our phone number is still the same as it was in michigan so um give us a call if you want to nice appreciate that mr berlin I think that's about i think that's about it appreciate and it no problem good to see you guys can everybody hold up two peace signs oh i should say one more oh yeah there you go <laughs> one, one more thing because you guys will get a kick out of I told you my beard was longer. The little town of Townsend where I live, it's like the size of Edmore, maybe a little smaller. Um, they grow this year, and so I did. And, and uh, I saw about 200 kids, um, had some interesting requests. One kid asked for a baby brother. And I looked at the mother and she was pregnant and they were having a baby boy because she nodded, yes, it was okay if I said, yeah, you're going to have a baby brother. But yeah, just uh, a few. I had kids from seven months old, seven weeks old, rather, all the way up to a few high school kids stopped by that I knew from subbing and they wanted to get a candy cane from Santa. <laughs> So, okay, I'm, I'm done. I'll let somebody else talk. That's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Berlin. Good to see you. Thank you guys for all your service at, at Great Lakes. You and Mrs. Berlin, we really appreciate it. Seriously. Um, and thank you, Ray, for letting me know that that song that Casey Moore and I did was awful. Um, all right. So, Darren, you're next. But um, if anybody, again, if anybody needs to go, we want to hear from you. So please uh, comment and, and let me know so I can call on you next. Um, if not, then just uh, wait your turn. I'll call your name. Darren, tell us what's going on, man. Hello, everyone. I'm Darren Fernandez. I think I recognize just about everyone. Um, good to see you all. I graduated GLAW in 2009. Uh, went to Andrews after that for about four and a half years or so. Never decided what I wanted to do. Still haven't really. Um, but I uh, graduated with general studies and a fitness ed minor. Um, continued not knowing what I wanted to do, so I joined the Coast Guard, and I'm coming up on four years in a couple weeks here. Um, I'm out in Coos Bay, Oregon, and I'm an aviation maintenance technician, so I uh, work on the helicopters over here, and I'm air crew as well, um, so that's been, that's been pretty interesting. And uh, as far as memories, um, nothing too specific. Uh, but um, always loved going on tours, whether it was class trips, um, music department, arrows. Um, and then uh, also I was involved with uh, helping out with a few banquets, and that was fun too, just getting everything set up. Mr. Carter helped me make an awesome uh, hippie van uh, one year, so that was pretty cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, just good times all around. Uh, I was at GLOB for uh, – uh, junior and senior year so it was a good time and just want to say again thank you to all the staff for just uh 
just shaping us all and, and uh, just being good role models and keeping us in line. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about all I got going on. Awesome. Thanks, Darren. Thanks for your service too. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, all right. So next, um, next we have uh, the Carters and I will add that um, I am, I have high hopes that we will hear an excerpt from Jacob the Baker. You guys are up. Okay. Well, I did bring it home so that you'd have that opportunity if you'd like to hear something from there. Um, glad to still be here in Cedar Lake. And uh, my wife is here and Emmy's here. Um, Jill lives not too far away. And uh, Olivia's out in Walla Walla. So um, Let's see if I can find one here. Okay, so this one is toward the end of the book. A young man caught in an argument with himself came to see Jacob. I want to believe in God, but I don't understand God, he said. Neither do I, said Jacob, but then God isn't designed to fit into my mind. Each of us is from the hand of God. None of us is the hand. Well, how can you have faith when you look at all the terrible things that have happened to innocent people? Because there is great sadness in life does not mean God doesn't exist. I choose hope over despair. So you have no proof. Most of us find what we're looking for, said Jacob. He looked up and saw clouds circling inevitably toward rain. Walk with me for a while, Jacob said to the young man, and they moved silently through the changing weather. Then. Without explanation, Jacob stopped, told his companion to find a tree that they could plant. A tree, said the young man. If we plant a tree here by the road, someone else will certainly come along and chop it down. Very well, said Jacob. I will plant the tree. Well, what should I do, said the young man. Oh, you, said Jacob, his mind acting as if it were already somewhere else. You will find somebody to chop down the tree. Sure do appreciate all you guys. Nice to see all of you too. Appreciate that, Mr. Carter. Good to see you, Mrs. Carter, as well. I don't know that you did you did you serve as a as a nurse when I was there? I think so. No, I remember you come to my door one day. I did, yeah. I'm pretty sure. At least you subbed. You subbed a fair amount, I'm pretty sure. No, never. No. no? Oh. No. Well, anyway. But thank you for. Thank you for what you do. Gotcha. Well, thank you for all your years of service, Mr. Carter. I know a lot of us have a, a lot of good memories in your class. Um, and I, one thing that I remember is your ion, ion quizzes and <laughs> how many people lost points from those stupid ion quizzes. And for me, it was one of those things where it's like literally once you get it, you got it. Like you're good. It's just like a, in Mrs. Heslop, it's like, it, it, both of your classes are kind of like, it's just like a switch. It's just like once the, the switch flips, then you're good. But until that switch flips, you're toast, you know? But you guys are always, you know, willing to uh, talk with us um, and, and, and help us until we, until we figured it out, so. I have been thoroughly blessed by all of you here. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, and I will add, I will add one more thing. Um, I remember, and again, this is, this is past the point, so it doesn't really matter. So, um, but I remember one time the bell rang and I was, I was a four year senior and I was going for perfect attendance. I will say that it was perfect attendance. Um, and I will say that I did get the award for perfect attendance for four years. But um, I remember that one time I had um, I, the bell rang and I ran into your classroom, Mr. Carter, and I at, and you, you marked me late. And I went to Mrs. Gammon and she's like, you have to go talk to Mr. Carter. So I was, went to go talk to you and pleaded with you to give me a break and not put that on my record. And you were basically like, I mean, why you were late. <laughs> and, um, and basically I'm pretty sure, again, I have a weird memory, but I'm pretty sure you said something to the effect of like, so if I was a, like, if I was a cop, and you know like i didn't pull this person over but i pulled this person over because they were both speeding like and that person says like you know um like that person was speeding 
well, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't get a ticket or something like it was something to that effect. But anyway, thank you for letting me off the hook so I could get that award. So um, appreciate that. Uh, I have it somewhere. Um, but again, perfect sense. Thank you very much. Um, uh, next, we have um, one of the most newly retired um, and most lovable, one of the most lovable faculty members, uh, Mrs. Peterson. Okay, this has been such a treat. Oh my goodness, how fun to see you guys. And just to think about all the fun times and craziness and I, I didn't even know some of those crazy stories. Probably a good thing. But um, wow, we love all of you. And I'm not retired yet. It's the end of the school year. Pardon me. I'm so sorry. Up. I'm so sorry. I am a bit. I am a bit bummed that the end of my teaching career has to be done without students in my classroom because I, I think Miss Hall might have mentioned that. But that's why we teach. We love you guys, and we like to see you in person. And um, yeah, but we're we're making the best of it. It's been a a terrible learning curve for me to learn all this technology, but oh well, it's it's a good thing, and we'll we'll go with it. But uh, just know that um, we love you all so much, and totally agree with whoever said that. You may think we impacted your life, but it is so uh, so much the other way as well. And I gotta say, there've been a few of you, especially I think probably when I put up that Facebook that I was retiring at the end of the year. Ooh, that was hard. But um, several kids wrote, I, I can't even remember all, and some of your sweet little messages, oh my goodness, yeah. It sure meant a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we love you all. Appreciate that, Mrs. Peterson. We love you too. And uh, sorry, yeah, it's, I hate that the school year has to end like it is with, uh, I, you know, with this is your, you know, last hurrah. So, um, but thanks for all your years of service. I know you've touched a lot of our lives. So, and I was using my, Alyssa, Hi Alyssa, um, <laughs> Alyssa, Alyssa was leading in a um, Sabbath school for high schoolers for our local church today, and um, and I was using my Bible um, that I used and marked up um, with your memory verse um, or your Bible marking plan thing. So, so I I appreciate that, and I still have all your memory verse cards somewhere stored. So that's awesome. Yeah. So thank you so Makes much. Makes my day. Yeah. And, and thanks for all your years of AYBL as well. Yeah. That was fun. That was a good time. So anyway, thanks, Mr. Peterson. Um, so because I organized this thing, I can choose whoever I want. So Alyssa, you're up. Hi. Nice to see your faces. I only just got in because I took a good hike to the springs today. And uh it was nice on uh, St. Mattress, but it's nice to be here too. <laughs> it's uh, really cool how this brings people together that you wouldn't normally get to see. I mean, I got to go back to my class's tenure for alumni, but there's like several people here that I didn't get to see. So it's really neat. And I hope all of you are staying well and um, we'll send up a prayer for you guys as well. Um, and it just, um, I don't know, this is just really special. There's something else I was gonna say. Well, hello to everybody. I'm glad that I got to be a part of this. They wanna know what you're doing and where you're at and what you're- Oh, okay. What am I like doing? Like who you're living with. <laughs> I live with Jordan and my sister, Ashley. And but right now I'm staying with my mom. Did you already go through that? No. Um, my parents moved down to Florida, so and we're all in Florida now, except for my dad is still up in Indiana, like finishing out work. He'll be down in May, and so I've been helping my mom set up her house here. So it's been a real blessing because we're getting back together again. Um, 
So I've just been able to kind of be a good support there. But big support, to. big support. So anyway, all right. Thank you, sis. Appreciate that. Okay, Mrs. Prouty, the one with, I would say, probably the most, um, I'm going to unmute you because I don't actually, I don't know. I'm trying to unmute you. If you can unmute yourself, go for it, Mrs. Prouty. Um, but you probably have, no, you, you did have the most uh, genuine and sincere prayers of anybody that um, was at Glob. So there, you're off mute. Go for it. Yes, I remember that prayer for the Adams family. Okay, hold on. I'll tell that story real quick. I feel really bad. So It was a sincere request. <laughs> So, okay, hold on. Let me tell this story really quick. Okay. I had to come to Jesus moment after that because I had not been in your class. So I heard all these things about you. And because I, I took your class like at the, on my senior year, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure so that it would, you know, yeah. it would be a good class to take my senior year. And um, so. Actually, Jordan, actually this was, I subbed for Mr. Riker because I can still see us in that room. <laughs> You did. Oh man, you have a good memory. No, but I heard so many things about you and I heard about your prayers and um, <laughs> it was one of those things where it's, you know, people joked about it and I kind of joined in because it was like the cool thing to do. But then after I matured, maybe a year later, um, I found them very sincere. And to this day, I, I, I appreciate that um, about you. Um, but with that being said, you did sub for Mr. Reichert's class and you came in and like we're used to Mr. Reichert's class, of course, and I'd never had you as a teacher. So you come in and we do this like 20 minute prayer time. Um, I exaggerated that, but it was at least like 10 <laughs> or 15 minutes. So we did this long prayer time and you bring your like book or your list that you like write down everybody's prayer requests. And we're like, we're going through it and like you're praying and the prayer is at least going five minutes and then at least like five minutes in. All of a sudden, and you're like, and please send extra angels to be with the Adams family. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I like bust out laughing. <laughs> Just like, yeah. And, and then I'm pretty sure you kind of like weren't very happy about that, rightly so. And, uh, and I apologize for that. But that was pretty funny. So, yeah. Well, I finally learned <clears throat> to limit that. I said, okay, we have 10 minutes. That's it. You know, down in my. But I wouldn't and, say and, us, and us students never, I mean, we never prolonged the pro time or the prayer time on purpose, of course. We never did that. Of course. Of course. <laughs> but I was there 13 years and um, then my, my dad's health was failing. And so I, I quit and he did pass away that summer. But um, this, the choir came to our church, I think it was last fall, and it made me cry because I missed you guys so much, you know, that, that senior, no, that, that high school age are just my favorite. And I, I just thought, oh, I really miss this age. And the second time they came though was uh, like in February and I was okay. I, I didn't need to cry. <laughs> but anyway, I just loved being there and you kids, it's really true. You kids are a blessing to us, and here I do my thing again. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was it was great being there. The love was mutual. I oh, appreciate it, Mrs. Prouty. Mm -hmm. And if if you can uh, if you uh, if you can tell us like what what you're up to. Oh, okay. Um, I'm I'm not working my myself, but I find myself very busy. I'm a kindergarten teacher at church, which I've been kids leader forever. I, I do vacation Bible school. Um, right now, I am um, sending stuff in the mail to my Sabbath school kids because, you know, we're not going there. And I'm also, I've never had a follow up for vacation Bible school. So I thought, you know, it'd be nice for the VBS kids to get something in the mail since they're not in school. So I, I'm working on that. We have 17 grandchildren, but which we don't get to see in person now. Um, my husband is still, he still goes to the office in the hospital. Um, one of our daughters is down in uh, Georgia. Rebecca's down, no, yeah, yeah, she is. She's down in Atlanta, Georgia with four boys. She's keeping herself very busy now making uh, masks. For, for people and <clears throat> let's see 
And the boys, uh, some of you know Ultra Camp. Uh, all three of our boys work for that, but they have, uh, they're working from home now. I think all three boys have taken a 14 week family leave. And so they'll, they'll get two thirds pay, I think. But you know, God is good. He is so good to us. And he just, we're all going to get through this virus thing one way or another. And we just have to believe, well, I know God knows what's best. So we don't stress about it too much. I'm not being stupid. I don't want to, and I don't leave the house because you know, I could be a carrier and brought stuff home and I don't get sick or something. So yes, I feel like, I'm, you know, I'm a little more responsible. But anyway, and we have a cheer of the Carters at our house now, Gina and I and Dave, we started taking it apart, but now we can't. So the car, the, the chair is laying in repose down downstairs. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. So, is the station wagon still going strong? I know I'm on my third one. Yeah. Um, I sold the green one to Jason Drum for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the and my brother found me another one and I got side, what'd you call it? I I got you know, the car went somebody went through a stop sign and broadsided me. That's it. Oh man. But um and th and then and my brother died unexpectedly in July. Oh, I was so upset about that car and people were telling me, Oh, you can get another car. We're just glad you're okay. I was so mad at him. <laughs> but but now I have another one. And I bought it from this guy. It had chrome wheels, chrome rims on it, and the wheels were like eighteen inches wide. I I, I took them off. <laughs> but um anyway. God is so good, and he, he knows that I like that car, that kind of car. So I, I consider it my birthday present. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and we're just thankful for the experience. I'm thankful for the experience I had at Great Lakes. It was wonderful. And um, you guys, when I see you on, on Facebook, <sighs> it's great. So thank, thank you. Thank you for your years of service, Mrs. Pretty. Oh, you're welcome. That's great. You're Thank awesome. You. Yeah, Good. sorry, you guys. <laughs> I hate to say it, but one of one of the fun memories is like the troublemakers <laughs> testing your patience and you like kicking them out of class. <laughs> it was it was quite entertaining. I don't know. I, I can't think of somebody specific who got kicked out, but like there were specific people that you're like, get out. <laughs> so those were good times. Uh, you know, I could have sent them to the principal's office, but hey, if you didn't want to be there, that's okay. I don't want you keeping the other kids from learning, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Uh, Bradley, Brad, the, the church and Curran clan. Oh. That's right. Hey. <laughs> Good to see everybody. We're, uh, we're living in, in beautiful Bismarck, North Dakota. and. Uh, my my brother here, Nathan, uh, joined Jess and I this past January. So the three of us are are here, loving the the warm weather. <laughs> the uh, storm that blew in two days ago. <laughs> yeah, we got about five or six inches a couple of days ago there. So, um, wow. but uh, I'm an aircraft mechanic here, and. Uh, um, I work at an urgent care slash walk-in clinic as a receptionist, so it uh, works a little interesting right now, having to wear the N95 masks all the time and changing in and out of scrubs, and all of our entrances are plastic and taped off, and, but wow, fun stuff with that. And then Nathan's also working at uh, where I work, Bismarck Aero Center. He's a line guy, so he's fueling aircraft, and, and uh, anyways, uh, a quick Quick memory. I'm kind of bummed Zach Crane is off, uh, but we were, he and I were there on SA our senior year and we were walking around because we were told there was a meeting for uh, the SA officers and we were trying to find it and, and we'd been told it was in the, um, the conference room there in the ad building. So we, we walked in and the lights were out 
and there was nobody there. We were looking around, and and all of a sudden, Zach Cray just about screamed and jumped jumped out of his skin <laughs> because Mr. Carter was underneath the table, and he had reached out and grabbed his leg. Uh, and uh, that was that was definitely a, a highlight for me. That was superb. Uh, and uh, I remember thinking, wow, I don't think I've ever seen the side of Mr. Carter. This is this is great. Um, so anyways, that was a, a really fond memory of mine. Um, I don't know if you wanted to share any. No, I think for me, I did uh, the first two years, I was village. Um, and then the second two years, I was in the dorm. And living in the dorm for me was like the best experience ever. I enjoyed getting to spend time with family, um, or the girls, I call my family, I guess, we spent time with. Um, and just being a lot more involved with everyone, getting to know everyone better. Um, I think that's, that's my fondest memories came from when I lived in the dorm my last two years. So it's awesome. Good to hear you. Good to hear from you guys. Glad you guys are doing well. Mm -hmm. Thanks for serving on the front front lines there, Jessica. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So let's, uh, let's do Mr. Uh, Ivan Kim. Go ahead. Hello, uh, my name is Ivan. I was class of 2012. Uh, this is actually Alicia. She actually didn't graduate, but she did go to Great Lakes. Um, what year is um, Freshman, sophomore year, 2006 to eight. Alicia yeah. Pack? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> we are I thought not that was you. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> yeah. Um he lives with my uh he he's a housemate of my um boyfriend. So I actually just came to his house to wait, you guys aren't dating? No. Oh, okay. Um that would have been uh, epic. But yeah, good to see you, Alicia. <laughs> Alicia I, you and I were in the same class. <laughs> um I so what did I do? After Great Lakes I went to Andrews. I was a typical Asian kid. I went to medical school afterwards. And so right now I'm in my third year of medical school at Loma Linda. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Seth. And if you don't, it's okay, because he's really not worth remembering. But Seth Campbell, he is, he is, he just completed his fourth year. And he's gonna be going back to Michigan for ortho. And uh, that's, that's about it for me. He's gonna awesome. be in my dad's group actually. Yeah, oh yeah. He did say, he did say something about being with uh, Dr. Fernandez, I remember that. That's awesome. awesome. Good to hear from you guys. Alicia, I, I, I thought that was you, but I didn't want to, uh, I haven't seen you in a long time, so. Yeah, it's been a little while. I, I've met some of the teachers from the teacher conference um, a couple years back. Um, right now I'm a teacher, teaching in California. Um, and Where in what grade? Um, I teach middle school, math and science. Uh -huh. And um, it's called Mesa Grande Academy. It's in um, Kelly Mesa, California. Where? Kelly Mesa. Oh, okay. It's like twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes away from Loma Linda. Okay. I was gonna like I was gonna say I can't pretend that I know where that is because I don't know <laughs> California, but I was in Loma Linda recently, so I know I know where that is. That's awesome. Well, thank you for teaching. Teaching is um, it's not an easy easy thing to do. So, and Miss Hall, you guys weren't here, but Miss Hall um, said uh, a shout out to everybody who's uh, teaching because it, it's a special place in her heart. So. Yeah, teaching virtually sucks. <laughs> yeah. But. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing that. I could never do that. So uh, good to hear from you guys. Um, all right. So next we have, uh, let's, let's jump on to the Martins. Oh, you guys got to unmute yourselves. Hey, everybody. Hi, guys. Can everybody hear us? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, um, a lot of stuff's been going on for us. So do you want to, I mean. Yeah. So, um, gosh, quick update. Well, after GLA, we both went to Andrews. And then after we finished Andrews, we got married. Went to Loma Linda. Jeff did dental school. I did nurse practitioner school. Then we moved to Maryland for three years. Graduated in 2016. 2016 from Loma Linda. Mm -hmm. um, we went to Maryland, Hagerstown, Maryland, and worked there. Um, Jeff worked at a private dental group, and I worked mm -hmm. um, for a private cardiology group. And we actually went out there because of Ryan Williams, who still lives in Maryland. Yep. 
So, um, and then we just moved to Florida in October. So we're in Florida now and, um, I'm working in cardiology still and Jeff is working. I work at a jail. <laughs> so as a dentist, as a dentist. So, uh, they, I go to jail every day and they let me out. So yeah. shed, shed some, shed, I, this, this interests me. So shed some light on like what that, what that's like, what that, what does that look like on a daily basis? You know, um, so you guys are like all family to me. So it's, it's a jail for sex offenders and, um, it's kind of eerie because all of them, like, they're actually really nice. They, they really appreciate the dental work that I do for them. And, uh, it's kind of eerie because they seem like normal people to me a lot of times. Um, some of them aren't so normal, but um, you know, everybody needs dentistry and it's not my dream job, but I'm hoping to, um, I don't know, next few months here or six months to a year to have my own dental practice. So that's kind of what I'm leading towards. And we're just seeing where God opens up the doors because honestly, if you were to ask me, I don't know, six months ago, if I was going to be working out of jail, I'd probably probably mm -hmm. laugh at you. So, but Hey, you know what? I actually like it more than I thought I would. And who knows? I don't know where God will lead us from here. So, but we're real, we're real blessed to be living where we're at. We just bought a home. We literally just moved into the house before this whole coronavirus thing went crazy. Well, kind of during it, but right before Florida got our stay at home order. So now we can be in our new house. Yep. And uh, for almost a whole year, we lived in a fifth wheel trailer. Mm -hmm. So that was fun. And yeah. uh, we just moved out of it a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So but we're very blessed. And it's been so great seeing each of you and kind of learning more about you all. And mm -hmm. uh, I know, I think Jordan and Alyssa, you guys are in Florida, right? So that's yeah. really cool. Where in Florida are you guys? Uh, we're in, well, we say Orlando, but if you're from Florida, then we say Lake Mary. Okay. okay. Yeah. We're in, um, Bradenton Lakewood Ranch. Oh, right. Currently. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right on. Awesome. So you're, so just to review, you're a cardi cardio NP and then you're a dentist at DDS. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That is awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm still working part-time at the jail. Mm -hmm. Um, they cut me they cut me back a few hours just because of the whole coronavirus thing, but I still go in like yeah. to see emergencies and that sort of stuff. So, you know what, we're still working and we're very blessed with that respect mm -hmm. and we're still healthy and all that stuff. So I know this world's kind of crazy, but you know, an we're opportunity all, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know, it just makes me realize that, you know, this world is not our home forever. And this world will end one day. And when these things come, they can be scary. They can, there's a lot of unknown. But when we see these things, we know that Jesus is coming soon. So, Amen. 100%. Uh, I, I, a lot of you know Jordan Holscher. I actually spoke to him for three hours today. So it was wow. like, and then I forgot that, I, I forgot that this was going on because I was talking to him for so long. And I'm really glad that you guys are still talking. So it's just been great catching up with people. And I don't know. I, not not grateful for the coronavirus, but I'm grateful to catch up with people that we haven't talked to in a long time. So it's been I appreciate great. you guys getting on. Thanks. Yeah, nice thanks for organizing. Nice to see you. Yeah, man. Let me know if you guys are in Orlando, okay? Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And really quick and, and say I live in the same town as uh Jeff's brother Mike. Um yeah. which is a coincidence because it's it's the biggest city on the Oregon coast, but it's a super small town. So it's uh just funny we both wound up here. And I live with Eric Mall too, who's not here at the moment, but, uh, but uh, yeah, he's doing well too. So if I could just add one thing, I lived really close to Andrew Mall and, uh -huh. and your and brother, Andrew. David was there. So it was like all brothers were on opposite coasts. Uh -huh. Yeah. Kind of funny for a little while. So that was kind of cool. That's awesome. <laughs> and Jeffrey, you were my freshman hall RA, correct? Yes. I remember you as a freshman. That was good times. We've all changed a lot since then, man. <laughs> I, I'm sure. I'm sure I have just a little bit. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Honestly, I was telling I was telling David and Darren real quick, and then Mrs. Norcross um, and uh, uh, the Norcross family's next. Um, I was telling David and Darren and uh, Andrew Mall when when I was a freshman, and I think it was because I kind of built this like like who I was was kind of like this cocky little freshman. 
Um, like I would walk whenever I had to go on senior hall and I would like walk down senior hall and like, just for, I, like, I think I had to go get like a, something from Ryan Coy or something. And, um, whenever I'd walk down senior hall, I'd be like, Oh, I hope that nobody opens their door because it's like, it's gonna be like Andrew Price or just <laughs> or, or somebody like that, like opens their door. They're going to be like, why are you on senior hall or something like that? So, um, yeah, so we've come a long way guys. We've come a long way. You know what? I've realized that uh, friendships in high school and people in high school mm -hmm. can change and people, I think, change for the better a lot of times. Mm -hmm. so. But I wanted to add that Jeff and I routinely talk about how much we loved our time at Gla and just that, honestly, like for me, I was only there for two years for junior and senior year, but for me, it was the two best years of my life, I would say, like two of the best years. And I think Jeff would agree that his four years were four of the best years. And they really helped mm -hmm. to like shape us and mold us into what we've done with our lives now. And we just feel like we got such a solid foundation there. And we're just so appreciative for all of our friendships and for all the faculty who just took us in with open arms and treated us like family and just really appreciate everyone. Mm -hmm. And a quick note on perfect attendance, Jordan. Same thing happened to me with Mr. Carter's class. I'm not even kidding. Not even kidding. That was the same. <laughs> and did you get perfect attendance? I did. Yeah, I went to Mrs. Gammon and she forgave me. I don't know what it was. See, this is like, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. So the same thing. I was like, I'm working on perfect. But my story was a little different. It was one of those shortened Sundays. And I was actually 15 minutes early for a normal day. But I was late to the oh. class. Yeah, I just, I was not thinking correctly, so. Well, and the funny thing is, is like, and it's a very good point, and honestly, only like us as adults would truly understand and realize this and admit this, but like, really, like, perfect attendance is perfect attendance. If you don't have perfect attendance, you shouldn't get perfect attendance, so. God's grace is amazing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> We wiped out. I, 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 wore, I wore that that thing and it, it, it clanged all the way down the aisle. So that's all that mattered. So I'm just going to say we wised up and we now call it exceptional attendance. So oh, there it truly doesn't have to be perfect. And if there's yeah. one little slip up here and there, it's okay. Yeah. Jeffrey, appreciate that, Miss Hall. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, at least we didn't uh, go in and, and, and change the record ourselves. Like I, I'm pretty sure some people did. Anyway. Hey, about those people <laughs> no exa exactly but notice they're not on on this chat either um so anyway um and by the way jeffrey thanks for being a big brother for me freshman year i remember that was a it wasn't an easy year for me because you know being so far away from home so you really made that um made that transition a lot a lot better so thank you well hey you know what uh, you guys were all great and uh law is a very special place and uh, just like i was talking to jordan holster today we wouldn't be the way we are today without all the mentors we had yeah. so I think God has brought us all there for a reason. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So thanks, thanks guys. For Appreciate it. that. All right. The time has come. Senora Norcross. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, well, what's up with us? We, we were in Gla for 20 years. And then we moved to Miami. And I taught there at the Miami Adventist, Miami. Greater Miami Academy. And we were there for four years. Then we moved back. Huh? Then we moved back. Then we moved back. We're in Mount Pleasant now. So we go to church once in a while uh, to see the lake, once in a while to Mount Pleasant. But um, so we're still in the area. We're not involved in the academy anymore. I'm teaching part-time at the community college, Moncom Community College, Spanish. And I work for Weight Watchers here in town, and now we're going into the workshops online. So I do enjoy doing a lot of things online, so it's been kind of fun for me. Um, and then Christina is home. Tell us, Christina. This is Christina. I just got back from Europe a couple weeks ago. I had to come back early because of the coronavirus. So we're currently under quarantine at the moment. But today's the tomorrow. last day. Tomorrow. Today's the last day. Wow. <laughs> no symptoms. I'm fine. <laughs> she was it, in it's France. Just, it's just crazy to see how, like, 
it's not like her and Olivia Car uh, not Carter. Well, Carter's too. Um, Olivia Hall, like when when I was there, and I'm sure you people that were, you know, Alyssa and Jeffrey and Danae, like you, you know, you guys that were before me, like they were like they were like this big, and now they're like <laughs> women. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's good to see everybody. This was a great idea, Jordan. Thank you. Where did you say where you were in Europe? I was I was in France. I was in the I was in the French Alps. So I was right in the corner by the Swiss border and by the Italian border. Oh wow! How wow. cool! That's awesome. Beautiful there. We it was just, it was gorgeous. My we're, parents were actually going to come, but we they had to cancel their trip. Getting ready to go, and, and then I had to come back. So oh, I know. Man. We have to plan another trip. Yeah. Wow. Well, thanks for being on here, guys. Yeah, yeah. this is fun. So I'm going to, I've been waiting for this opportunity and I should have, you guys have been on for a while, so I should have gotten to you guys a lot sooner. So I apologize, but um, I'm going to share really quickly. Um, so I don't know why I just muted you. Um, so number one, in fresh, uh, fresh um, Spanish one, you gave me the best pronunciation award a little pin and I have it to this day and Yay! you gave it to me and not to a Spanish speaking person and I still <laughs> have that to this day and when people in the hospital or wherever say that my Spanish is is, is like wow you like you speak good Spanish and they think that I actually speak Spanish because my pronunciation is pretty good and I'm not gonna lie like I will toot my horn a little bit doo -doo. Like, <laughs> like, I like my R's are, 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 are getting better like rolling my R's but like like my pronunciation, I think is actually pretty decent. So you made a good call and giving me the award, but I still have it to this day. And I reference that to people. I'm like, well, in Spanish one, I got the best pronunciation award. Not even kidding. I reference it every time somebody says that. So thank you. For that. Um, I'm sure you earned that one. Uh, thank you. Secondly, Scotty made me look like a fool one time. We we're, um, we're in the music department and tell Scotty, I said, hi. Um, little booger. Yes, he wanted um, to be here too. But he's he, working. He was working. He's in Utah now, actually. He lives in Salt Lake City. Oh yeah, what is he doing? He, what, what is he doing? <laughs> he's working in his... He theater. went to college for logistic management, so whatever it is a person that majored in logistic management does, that's what he's doing. He solves problems. He, <laughs> he solves, solves problems. problems. So I, hope it's the world, I hope it's the world solving the world's problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we need somebody yeah. to do that. That's He's awesome. an essential worker, I yeah. guess, right now. So nice. Is that like process improvement? Is it kind of like that? It's process. Is it process? It's pretty much. So he works for a company and pretty much sees how they can make the same amount, but for a lesser price. Well, and that's to part make of sure it. there's like quality control and. He's organizing yeah. the whole place. I oh, guess okay. it needs a lot of work. <laughs> that's awesome. Good to see you, Caleb. By the way. Um, so anyway, we were in the music department and there was a chair in the music department right where the like receptionist sat um, and there was this pin that like when you pressed it, it made it like it electrocuted you and I was like he was trying to get me to press it and so I pressed it and that was that was that but he's like you know if you like if you're not grounded like if you're in the air and you do it like you won't get electrocuted <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty gullible so like I, I jumped I got on the chair and I jumped and did it. And of course it electrocuted me. I'm an idiot. Um, but he, <laughs> he did he, the same thing to me. Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> With like gun so. packs or whatever he could find that would shock oh, me. Oh yeah, the gun. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, tell him, tell him I, tell him I remember that story. And lastly, this is the story that I was going to share. And then, and then we're going to jump to um, uh, possibly Rebecca Albasta. Would love to hear from you if you want to share. I know your video is not on, but if it, if you want to share, go ahead and turn your video on because I'll go to you next. Um, Becca. Um, so here's the story. So Alex Tompkins, I was so lucky to have, we had a great Spanish one class, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Alex Tompkins and Taylor Lefebvre were in our class and it was so much fun. And they were a hoop. They were like Abbott and Costello of Spanish one. And um, so wh what was hilarious was I'm pretty sure we had to do like a, a, a uh, our final with you was like a conversation um and we had to like carry on a conversation with you in spanish and like we could re like like recite it and whatnot um and these guys like we just had a conversation these guys did it together and they came up with a prayer in spanish to start with you and they prayed in spanish and they're like can we pray with you in spanish first and i'm like come on 
It's like, these guys are just buttering up to her. And sure enough, they call <laughs> prayer. And like, yeah, anyway. And actually, I can hear your, I can hear your prayer like in Spanish, um, like in my, in, my, in my mind. So they just cracked me up. That was a good Spanish <laughs> class. So thank you for your years of service too. Yeah, and good well. to hear it from you guys. Yeah. I can't, I can't hear, you. hear you. Oh, I said I'm glad you're safe and well. Oh. I'm sorry you had to come back early, but I'm glad yeah. you're back with No, you. it's it's fine. I don't I mean I was I was actually planning a trip, but all those flights got canceled too due to the coronavirus. So I was really just gonna be stuck there. I wouldn't be able to move. So I was one of the last flights coming out too. The day I came out, now I think there's only like one flight a day coming out of out of France. I don't know about all the other countries, but France, I think there's only one flight a day now. And it's like eighty dollars. It, it was a relief to have her. My home. mom was very nervous. Well, she she gets stressed when I leave. I left a couple of years ago, and I went to Peru to work as a nurse. I actually worked with uh, Danae's fiance down there. Cool. But, That's really neat. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys for sharing. Yeah. Good, good, glad you guys are here. Um, I was hoping Alex and Taylor would be on here. I I, I talked to Alex on on Instagram, but um, he wasn't able to make it, so it's all good. Um, okay, so uh, Miss Albasta, would you like to share and tell us what the Albastas are doing? You can speak for uh, Bernard as well. All right, hi guys. Hi. Um, I feel like I wasn't super close to many of you, but I recognize all of you. I was a little more shy when I was at GLA. I feel like most of you are a lot closer with my brother, so I will be speaking on his behalf tonight too. Um, We'll start with him. He is in California right now. Um, many of you probably know he works for Apple. He uh, started working for Apple corporate about a year and a half, two years ago. So they flew him out there and moved him. Um, he's safe. He is still considered an essential employee right now and is still having to go to work. Um, he's the only one of only person in his building that's working though. So he's, kind of quarantined by himself. Um, he's doing good though. Um, for as far as me, I'm still in Michigan. I am currently working at a psychiatric hospital. Um, I guess I just, I run groups, you know, on depression and, you know, all the type of coping skills that, you know, people need. Um, I see people, you know, from that, actually you know have a diagnosed mental illness ranging from like schizophrenia bipolar to kids who are just depressed and might be self-harming or so it's a whole range of things um still working all the time because mental health never stops um next week i'm actually starting my master's in clinical mental health so that i can uh, awesome further my career but yeah that's pretty much it that's awesome it's good to see you becca you too glad you jumped on here and i i do want to add that um on a serious note like thank you so much for what you do with mental health because um i see you know i'd say like half my patients and that's maybe an exaggeration but half the patients that i see in my in my family medicine practice i mean most people have some sort of mental illness um whether it's severe or not. And people like you are, are vital to um, getting people feeling better and it's not an easy job. And so I want you to know that we appreciate people like you. Thank you. I really enjoy it. It's really rough most days, but I enjoy it, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So keep doing it. <laughs> so. She is, she's gonna get her master's. <laughs> Heck yeah, you are. <laughs> awesome, so um, okay, next I wanna jump to um, one, of my, one of my favorites here. Um, Dean Coggins. What is. is up? What's up, man? Good to see you. You know, it's really good to see all of you. But Jordan, you are looking well, my friend. Thanks, man. And Alyssa. Man, I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Come to Orlando. Visit us. We talked about right. you at alumni this last year because you know, a, we had a good turnout of our class, so oh, yeah. we're definitely in conversation in people's, 
memories and heart. He was your class sponsor, right? Yeah, he was. Right? Well, no, were. Mr. Smart was. No, he, yes, Mr. Smart was oh, okay. and Mrs. Heslop. Oh, okay. Yeah, I joined after Mr. Smart Mr. Left. Yeah, after the next, yeah, the next go round. Smart, he had a hard time. <laughs> Coggins had a hard time, I think, sometimes with us, but at least he had a lot of buddies in our class. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you guys were great. Um, yeah, uh, come down to Orlando. Yeah, I can't, you know, there's no... Uh, there's I no, mean, okay, uh, like... I'm, 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 I'm locked in here. When the dust settles, okay. Oh, where, okay. where are you now? I'm still in Michigan. I, uh, I live over by South Haven, Michigan, over on the west side of the state. And I uh, live uh, kind of out in the country, just me and my dogs. And I, uh, I work for the Slickers family at Thierry Ops. I'm just a grunt in that factory, putting together million dollar boats for millionaires. So nice. It's crazy. It's not what I um, ever thought I'd be doing, but it's what God provided. And so I'm thankful that it was something. Sorry about Sydney. Oh, thank you. Yeah, man, she's, she was, uh, she was there since pretty much almost any of you were, you know, mm -hmm. that, that I had anyway. She, yeah, I got I her in it. 2006. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Other than that, I mean, it's just kind of crazy. How are your other dogs? Oh, they're fine. There's a couple of them here. How many total do you have right now? I have six right now. Nice. Yeah. Um, and uh, you may remember Lola. Lola yeah. I had to uh, say goodbye to a couple of summers ago. Yeah. But I've got four of her offspring, Aww. which is cool. Love that. So it's like a part of part of her family you know that's awesome it's really good good to yeah. see you man oh, well, uh, you too yeah. appreciate appreciate all your uh all your uh mentorship and leadership and um guidance in the dorm you uh you and dean hill were were a big part of all of us guys' lives and um and 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 all of your efforts won't be forgotten seriously thank you for all you've done okay. That means a lot. You know, I, I, I think I can speak for Dean Hill too, but we learned a lot from you guys. We were just, we were just little kids when we started. How old were you guys? We, 21, were we 21? I think. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, at so, that time, so much older. Yeah. I mean, my first year, the seniors were two, two, three years younger. And uh, I often got, you know, confused as one of them if we were on an arrows trip or something. And <laughs> so, um, but we, we did, we learned a lot from you guys and we, we grew, we grew up a lot um, because of the thing challenges you guys, you know, posed to us, but also you guys were just good teachers. So um, we, we certainly didn't know everything and we, we may have claimed to once or twice, but, but we didn't. And uh, we had a lot to learn, and we, we, couldn't have, we couldn't have been raised by a better group of boys throughout the years. So appreciate all you guys that were in the dorm and, and the girls that we got to interact with and the, and the guys that weren't in the dorm, too, like uh, Luca. I remember a few things. Say something real quick, too. Um, I just – I had so much fun working for Dean Hill and Dean Coggins as a, a RA for the two years that I did it, and – I remember all the the late night parties we'd have. That was fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. We didn't work much. We just partied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you guys are great, honestly. Some of the dorm memories that I have being there with all the guys are some of my most cherished memories. And it's just so awesome. So awesome that we got to do that. So thank you. Oh, no. Again, thank you guys. I mean it was a, it was it was a it was a good thing, so. You know. But you guys, you guys always seem so much older to me. And yeah, well, <laughs> we weren't, and we didn't. Uh, we 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 had to pretend we were sometimes, but a lot of the time we just we were just as immature as you guys. We probably still are. That's <laughs> what were you gonna say? All I was gonna say, Coggins. I remember a few things. 
I remember you doing like you guys remember how we could go um were we assigned different Sabbath schools on Saturday or did we get to choose? I think you we guys got were to assigned choose. at one point, yeah. Yeah, well you did one and I thought it was really great at the time and you were with someone else. Maybe you were with Dean Hill, but it was you and somebody else. And I also remember how instrumental you were in Arrows when it was time for the play with organization and artistic flair because coach that was he had his expertise and that was definitely your expertise and you were so instrumental in bringing it all together and i always enjoyed all your special music yes too. loved your loved your voice thank you for you should, sing. you should sing and post it online we all would enjoy that i've thought about that you know and i've actually tried uh to record a little bit but I don't have carpet in the house. And so it's all like uh, oh. laminate flooring. So every time I try to record anything, all you hear is clomp, 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 clomp from the dogs, oh. you know, everywhere. And every time I jump on the, the piano, they want to come and uh, be near. So it's a little distracting. Well, if, but, that, if that ever changes, we'll, we'll be looking for it. Oh, okay. Thank you. I, uh, yeah, I, I think about it from time to time. And if I, if I gather up the courage and maybe I can just keep the dogs outside for a little bit, I'll, I'll do that. And, uh, Truly so many of our blessed, uh, so many of us are blessed by that Coggins. Well, that's, we, we got to use our gifts and talents for God and yeah, in every chance that we can. So yeah. um, encourage everybody to do that, whatever your gifts might be. You know? yeah. And on a side note, um, I talked to Chaplain Hall on, on Facebook messenger last night when I sent these invites and stuff. And I told him he needs to do that too because he has a beautiful voice as well. And he said he's uh, going to try to. Um, he's just been really busy, so I'm going to remind him on Thursday if he doesn't. So, um, so anyway, one one memory real quick that I want to um, tell about Coggins um, that that it makes me laugh to this day. So um, I don't know if you'll remember this, but so I was sitting right outside your office, and you're in your is the middle, middle of the day. Um, in the afternoon and your door was open and I think you were just by yourself and I was out out in the on the lobby sitting in the chair and I was reading Sports Illustrated magazine and um, do you know where this is going and probably not and not I was reading, my was not jogged yet yeah I was reading I was reading this article about um, as again Peyton Manning it's, it's an article interviewing Peyton Manning and basically like um, uh, our owner like um, a conversation that the owner and Peyton Manning had before Peyton was drafted. And basically Peyton was saying like, um, it's like, if you don't, if you don't draft me, like I'm, it's going to like, I'm going to come back. Like it's going to come back and bite you in the butt, but it wasn't the, the, the wording in the sports illustrated wasn't, but, and so I said the other word. And <laughs> the moment I said that you're like, well, yours. And I'm like, oh crap! So I went in the uh, I went in your office, and you gave me two hours. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, you probably never did them. I know I probably. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. I mean, let's be real. Yeah. I mean, we gave a lot of hours that nobody ever did. Yeah, I think I picked up pine cones with Danny doing hours for any <laughs> one time. <laughs> so anyway, well, good to see you, Coggins. Oh, you too. Yeah, yeah buddy. All right. Um, I think we have two more people that haven't talked. Um, so I would like to go to the uh, 2020 candidate for presidency, Ray Doherty. You got, um, unmute yourself there, Mr. Raymond. Well, any good scholar of the constitution knows you have to be at least 35 years of age. Uh, we got a little while yet, but hey, it's, it's good to see you guys. I, I haven't seen a lot of you, some of you since gloss, some of you, little bit more recently at, at Camp Osable or something like that. I, I probably got to know, I probably got to know some of you a little bit better at camp actually, just because we were there multiple summers and hanging out all the time, especially if you had to be out late at night, like I did at camp. That was a lot of fun. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, what are you up to these days? Finding it very hard to believe that we graduated 10 years ago. I know. It's our 10 year this fall. So I was, at least at the time, when I went out to Union College, I was the only one, I think, from uh, from GLA out there. 
so I, I spent four and a half years, uh, five and a half years actually there doing a, a bachelor's in history. Um, went out, did, worked a bunch of different things during school, after college. I went back actually to Union a second time, finished a year ago, a bachelor's in finance. So um, I, I'm back in Michigan now, just trying to uh, look for work, something to kind of tide me over. I'm, I'm planning on going to law school still. Trying to figure awesome, out in the meantime, but that's all right. That's awesome. Good, you. good, good for you, Ray. Good to see you. And are, am you I going to see you at the ten-year? Is that even happening at this point? Somebody, I mean, we can assume it's cruise in September, but half of our class are like teachers and can't go. I think you'd be surprised. It, okay, is that still happening though? I guess, I guess. It's I mean, as far as like right now, it's going to. I mean, we just, we're like, we'll have to wait and see because we don't know what the future holds. So. Well, I, I hope to see you there. Virus. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, man. But it's good to see you on here. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, awesome. it's awesome to see you guys. And uh, I would like everybody to know who has been here since the beginning when I shared the fact that I sold soda in the dorm. Um, and Dean Coggins, I was telling them that like my business of uh, laser pointers and um, selling soda in the dorm where I made $1,000 pure profit um, and $150 off the lasers. Um, I would like, sure, to, like, like, half I would like everybody to know that Ray, I don't know if Ray bought a laser, I, I doubt it, but Ray. No lasers. Yeah, Ray was one of my top sellers, top buyers for soda. One of? One of. I, are, are we or sure about the, this? I'm oh, pretty yeah, sure man. every spare dollar I had went into Jordan's pocket at some point. I appreciate that, Ray. I appreciate um, uh, faithful people like you. And also, I, this is actually a fun f fun fact too. And we're going to get to the Rikers here next. Um, so there was a there was a, a a trash can behind the desk monitor. Um, hey, can you give me water, um, please? Thank you, That's great sister. Um, it's very nice having sisters. Uh, living with me, by the way, they do a lot of cooking. Um, she's not here to comment about that. She'll probably pop back in, but um, we help each other out. It's 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 pretty great. Um, I'm trying to get Ashley in here, but anyway, I don't know if she's still sleeping. But anyway, sorry. There's a trash can behind the desk monitor um, uh, room there, and that was for like recite like uh, cans for us to like turn them in, and it would go to the dorm fund. So people would like pile those high with like empty cans. It was a great idea, uh, but not everybody did it. And um, I never stole from those, but I started, instead of selling soda, I only sold it for 75 cents. I would sell it and I would like, I would sell it for 75 cents. But if you had 12 cans, empty cans, I would give you a free soda. So Ray was one of those people that would save his cans and give them to me, 12 of them. And instead of 75 cents, I'd go to, what was that? What was that grocery store? Dernigan? No. What was that grocery store there in town? Jorgensen's. Jorgensen's. Jorgensen's, yes. I would go to Jorgensen's like with some, uh, Curtis did it a fair amount. I think Dean Hill probably did it one time. Um, maybe not. Maybe I didn't tell you about that. Uh, no, I don't think I told you about that. But I would go with like a bag and I would get $1.20 for uh, 10 cents for each can. So I get $1.20 instead of 75 cents. Anyway, Ray would do that. So I appreciate that, Ray, for, for giving me. Uh, I, I don't even remember that. doing that, but I am not the least bit surprised. Yeah, neither am I. Um, all right. So uh, that was a fun fact. Um, last but not least, unless somebody else pops on and if I have missed you, please let me know. But, um, the silver Fox and his fair lady. <laughs> All right, Sam stretch. <laughs> I, don't have to, I don't have to lead out. I don't have to lead out. Lead my friend. <laughs> Slam dunk. <laughs> hey, greetings, everybody. It's good seeing everybody. And, uh, man, it seems like just yesterday you were walking our, our halls and being a part of our family where we're seeing every day um as far as we're we are we're just kind of finishing our 33rd year here on campus um and um still pushing graduates through yeah still doing that and yeah. all that good stuff unfortunately i wasn't able to take my senior class this year to washington dc for the class trip with the that school. is so sad yeah closing down and we're doing distance education which if I had to do this for 40 years, I would have gone into another 
probably occupation because I really miss the interaction with the kids and stuff like that. I mean, it's teaching to a, a video camera is not the same thing. Mrs. Heslop said the same thing. Yeah. So, but you know, it, but uh, it's, it provides a really good service for those kids and we miss them a lot. You know, it's like we miss you guys. They're all, you know, part of our family, but we're getting through and we'll just uh, make it happen and hope and pray that we'll get through this coronavirus thing quickly so we can get back to life as, as near normal as possible. But um, yeah, so, oh, we're uh, getting older, obviously. I remember when we first came here, we were kind of the young people on campus and now it's uh, not that way, but that's all right. We still <laughs> think young. Um, and let's see, our, our boys, uh, I don't know if they got on, Jordan or, or Troy. Jordan, Jordan was on with Sarah and the baby. Oh, we saw them. Uh, and, and Troy's uh, down in Kalamazoo. He's a dentist. And um, he was kind of leaving Loma Linda about the time Jeffrey was starting. I think they might have overlapped senior, freshman year, something like that. And yeah. he likes it well. He's working with a, gra with a graduate, uh, Brad Randall from class of 93. So um, we like that. We like seeing, and we like seeing all these GLA romances that take place. And uh, guys, uh, if you're single, get a GLA girl because they're the best. That's right. So, um, but I'm, you know, we're doing well. Uh, I enjoyed many of you and your visits to the office. I love the one-on-one. -on -one. And Jordan, we had a lot of good talks. I know Alyssa and I did too. Absolutely. We. Just, um, I miss those times, although I am still doing that. I'm sitting in the same office, visiting with many of the same. Um, what's different in Ed Edmore that they may not well, remember? Jorgensen's, Jorgensen's turned into Jorgies and now it's closed. It, yeah, it's, there's nothing there. Yeah. The family dog next door, it went turned to Jorgies. Now there's nothing there. Um, they're, both the buildings are empty. Um, McDonald's and Burger King moved in. Yeah, they're there. <laughs> we, do have, we do have a... Um, a Dollar General there. Is, is it Dollar General? Or? Yeah, Dollar, Dollar General. General. Yeah. Anyway, those are probably mm -hmm. the only changes. Yeah, um, and we, the pipe dreams of having a Taco Bell still haven't happened in Edmore, <laughs> so no Taco nice. Bell. Um, um, yeah, but we anyway, were having a great we, school year until coronavirus. Our, just a great group of kids this really, year. Really, really good, um, yeah. And we're looking forward to hopefully getting them all back, the, the non-seniors, graduating a great senior class I don't know what's going to happen as far as graduation we're hoping that maybe we can put something together in the summertime or whatever but I don't know yet we'll see how that goes um you guys are an era of just a lot of good memories those that we've already heard you guys have just you're missed you thought of a lot and great group of kids stay strong in your faith and just live it every day yeah, I know. I know you guys got on here like uh, a little later, but um, I've said this before. But I want you guys to know we really appreciate all your service to Gla for many years. And I'm going to echo what I said earlier. But um, you know, there, like with a lot of turnover, you know, um, so turnover is not good. And and the thing that made Gla so good is that there wasn't turnover. And it's people like um, Mrs. Prouty, Mr. Carter, the, the Carters, the Proudies, Paul, Hill, Coggins. Like it's just you guys are what make law what it was and what it is and 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 still to this day we we so appreciate you guys and all your service as for all these years thank you thank you it's been a fun ride and i want to just to give a shout out for my colleagues um this is a great staff to work with uh and speak i can speak not only as a teacher but as also as a, a former parent and our kids were well served by by the great, the fellow staff, great members. staff yeah. yeah and i don't want to neglect norcross and heslop um i didn't mean to uh, everybody ever all the staff there so but thank you um mrs uh mrs Riker, i i def I, I very much enjoyed coming to your office and talking to you we had a lot of great conversations and those were probably the times that i mrs pa miss powers was telling me to do um add up time cards which i was not doing which angela boothby was not happy with <laughs> um and um and also um what was i gonna say oh i was gonna say that um one of my favorite memories of you guys is going uh, going to your house on weekends with camp, but also like um, when the Colts went to the Super Bowl in 06, um, yeah. you had me over for a Super Bowl party. And it was just a, like, it was just a couple people, but the, the Colts actually won that year. And 
I will never forget the spread that you made for that Super Bowl party. It was the best food that I've ever had. And it was even better because the Colts won. But it was just, it was, and, and being at Glaw without my mom, you know, my mom's cooking, like having that is just such a treat. And um, going to any of you guys' houses were such a treat when we were at Glaw. Um, but especially on a, on a big night that was super important to me with the Colts, um, I, that, that was one of the best food, best foods I've ever, uh, best food I've ever had. So, so thank you. You're welcome. We keep it up. <laughs> yeah. So. And Jordan, that, that is still my second favorite team, the Colts. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember you saying that. <laughs> you, would, you would tell us that. You would tell us that. That's awesome. That's great. Um, oh, you missed her. Oh, I, never mind. I won't say that. But, and I remember, I remember your, the very first class. I'm pretty sure the very first class, Mr. Riker, and, it's, and I'm, I guarantee you still do it to this day, but you, you have like a broom and you like, you throw it and turn out the lights or something. And it's like, now we're like day one or day or uh, creation or whatever. <laughs> uh, time warp you're talking about. Time warp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I legit did that in my second grade class. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I do it differently every year, how I time warp. I, there was a time when I was throwing the broom around. I do different <laughs> things. Well, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank hey, you. hey, we understand your your parents are moving down there. Have they moved yet? So we are in their house. <clears throat> oh, okay. Ooh, right. Yeah. So my dad's my dad's. Uh, go ahead, Alyssa. So, my, my dad is still up in Indiana, finishing out work right now. Um, he'll be coming down hopefully mid May. So we've been helping our mom set up and. It's just nice that we're we're gonna be all in the same area within an hour, so we we feel very blessed. Yeah, that that is that's a huge blessing for your parents. Very good. Yeah. And we're looking forward to having yeah having both of them down here, but especially because my dad his job's like a lot of manual labor, so having him down here without having to do that, you know, it's gonna be good for him. So, you know, playing ping pong, golf, you know, yes. oh, yeah. pseudo retired, if you will, but they're not gonna retire. So. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we will either. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, but thank you guys. Um, yeah, so, um, I mean, a lot of people have, have hung on a lot of, the, uh, you know, we still have 19 people. So, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to shut this down. If anybody wants to share anything, David's still here. He said he was leaving, but he's still here, guys. <laughs> oh, you're, you're on mute. I'm taking off right now. See you guys later. All the best. Okay. Good to see all of you. See you, David. Thanks again, Dave. David helped me a lot with uh, organizing this. So thank you, David. Uh, I, I, I've got to go uh, prepare for a couple minutes because I've been doing nightly devotional talks on my Edification Station podcast Instagram page. So um, I saved them to my story. So if you guys are going to stand here for a while, you can watch it later and um, check out the podcast. I think you guys will really enjoy it. God bless and talk to you guys later. See you, Dave. See ya. Good to see you. Does anybody else want to share uh, share any other memories before before we go? Yeah, Mrs. Hessoff. Yeah. Anybody? Yeah, everybody got to talk. I'll catch you up here in a second. Um, I remember. So you, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Mentioned, you mentioned the um, shakedowns. The only shakedown. This is for you, Becca. Uh, the only shakedown that I remember happening when I was there was when, I believe it was Brittany Bell Chambers lost an entire load of white laundry. And so they shook down the entire dorm to look for this load of white laundry. And they never found it as far as I remember. <laughs> And it was like, why is a load of whites gone, and why are we in the chapel for this? Yeah. That's funny. Hmm. Um, real quick, I'll, I'll catch everybody up on, on Ashley. I think she had to, had to go. Um, but my sister, so she graduated in 05. She, um, she, she's, we're all living together with Jake Sokolis right now um, in my house. And um, so she finished a master's in finance. Um, and uh, um, her MBA. So she's working for Advent Health, the main uh, hospital system, the Adventist hospital system, go figure, down here, um, which is like a metropolis. Um, and she's working with trades and acquisitions. So um, she's doing really well. And uh, she's very good at her job. So um, yeah, that's, 
that's my family. So Jake, oh, Jake Sokolis is a, is a physical therapist. Um, he's working for Advent Health as well. He came down in like 2015 for an internship. And then I convinced him to um, come down here to, and, and I, I like to say I helped him get a job, but he probably would have gotten it anyway because I played volleyball with his boss. So, um, so, but, I, but I'll let him take the credit. Like he got the job, not without, with, with, you know, without me. So, um, but he's doing really well. Uh, physical therapist uh, Ron Boothby's down here. He's working for a, a boat company. I'm just trying to think of everybody who's down here. He works for uh, Regal Boats. Um, pretty sweet. He gets to like help, like put input and like design them and stuff. Um, and uh, he tests them out. He goes on the water and like tests them out. It's a pretty sweet gig. Um, and let's see uh, who else. Is, oh, Liz Janewski is is look who decided to grace her presence. Hi. Have a seat, sis. I, I'm actually headed out. Oh. Do you want to say anything? We got Miss Byers. I was just going to ask Carter. Ashley how your health is. Are you feeling good? I just want to call, call, call you up. I'm feeling much better than I was a couple weeks ago. Well, that's good. I had a case of the flu. Oh, goodness. Terrible timing, but uh, I'm feeling much better than I was. Well, I just know you had some issues there for a while, so I'm glad you're doing better. Yeah, thank you so much. Do you want to say a quick memory of Paul? Uh... Oh man. Um, we got Mrs. Prowley, the Carters, Miss Hall, Dean Coggins, Dean Hill, the Rikerts, Mrs. Norcross. I see that. Nobody from us up. And <laughs> yeah, okay. and people and people not from your class. That's okay. That's okay. Memory? I'm thinking of There's so many. I don't know. I I'm sorry, I, I spoke for you. I updated your life to everybody. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> so I said you're doing really well um, and I'm very blessed while she's thinking about it again I'm very blessed to have my sisters um, I said I'm very blessed to have my sisters living with me because you guys you know you guys cook for me and yeah you guys are awesome we're lucky that most of the time he does the dishes <laughs> so anyway but uh, Steve Gotchel is he still down there oh yeah Steve I'm glad you asked about Steve yeah, Steve, uh, Steve, Steve and I actually took a, a road trip not too long ago to, um, uh, to Alabama for like a, a, a lake weekend. Um, and he's doing really well. He is, actually, you would probably know, is he a VP? No. A VP? Yeah, finance, and he works. He's a director or a... Daytona Beach. Yeah, he's Daytona Beach. He's, he's like a director of finance or a VP or AVP or something like that. I get confused with all the different levels. Um, but yeah, he works for Advent Health as well. So he's doing he's doing really life. well. Love Steve. He's married, has a great wife. Um, who else is down here? Liv Janevsky, I was saying, is um, she's in a residency. She kind of goes to my church at Spring Meadows in Sanford um, when she can. She's in residency in Advent Health uh, East. Um, Abby DeHate is down here. Um, she's accounting. She was in residency with Advent Health, but now she, I think I don't know. She might be still be in the residency. Yeah, but she's she's married now. Nathi was on here early. I don't. Nathi never talked. Dang it. Um, but Nathi, Nathi is in California working in the ER with his wife. They're travel nurses. Um, who else is down here? If anybody yeah. else wants to speak yeah. for somebody else who's not here, Crane. Zach Crane was already on here. I already talked about Ron. Um, Trevor Haslop just joined us. Oh, Trev. Okay, I'm done talking. Okay, we have two. We have two. We have two people that joined. Um, I'm, I thought. Yeah, Matt and Krista. Where are they at? I saw them. Hey, Matt. Hey, Krista. Um, so you guys run first. So um, I'm gonna. Un oh, do you have a memory? Did you? No, hold on. Hold on, Matt and Krista. This is your chance. I like to put my family on the spot. And Jake, but he hates. He hates when I put him on the spot. Okay. Um, they're waiting for you. Yeah. Are you waiting for us, guys? No, you should be for a sister. Uh, I think probably, um, man, I think probably just a funny memory is uh, Mrs. Salmon because I worked in the business office. Um, so I would see her all the time and, um, I love that woman and just have so much respect for her and everything that she did along with all of the faculty. Um, but from time to time, um, 
I would wear a jean jacket and she would always be like, you're not supposed to be wearing that jean jacket. And I'm like, oh, I know. So, uh, but no, I have so many, many good memories. Uh, it's hard to pick one. Um, it was such a blessing to go there. And um, I feel like I was there in, in the glory years. Um, so. Oh, five. Oh, you guys had a good class. Yeah, I had a very you guys, good class. You guys had a good class. Very, very good class. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, cool. Yeah, jean jacket. That's kind of funny that. Jean jacket, gum. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have a funny story. Mrs. Heslop, are you still on here? Yes. Okay. I have to, I have to tell a story and then we're getting to you, Krista. I apologize. Cause I, I, I want, I want to tell this. Um, so I was in Mr. Heslop's office <clears throat> and I was chewing gum, of course. I don't know why that was pretty stupid. So I was chewing gum in Mr. Heslop's all of a sudden Mrs. Heslop walks in. So I literally, and this is how I envision it in my mind, like Mr. Heslop's here sitting on his desk or standing up or something. Mrs. Heslop's in the doorway and I'm in the middle of them. And like, I was not chewing. I had gum in my mouth. I was not chewing. I swear I was not chewing at all while, because that's like, of all people, you're not going to be around those two when you're chewing gum. Okay. Cause they're, they, they know they're going to find out. I swear I didn't chew. And they said, spit out your gum. And then I, and then I got written up. It's like, how did you guys know? I, I was not chewing my gum, but, uh, but that's why they're legend to this day. So this is, Mrs. Can H, I do you want to speak story here? Mrs. H, you want to say something real quick? I hope you don't only remember us for write-ups, though. Oh, of course not. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. But that's just a funny memory that I had. I, I don't. I deserved it, you know? I mean, I was chewing gum in the ad building. Mr. So. H always knew when kids were chewing gum, though. That was like, he, he had that down, man. It's just like you guys had this, like, I don't know if the right word, a telepathic, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> hey, he has it. Call it, like, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. But anyway, um, so, uh, okay, I want to get to Krista here. And Krista, um, you, I'm going to, oh, I unmuted you. Go for it. Welcome. Matt, what's up, man? Thank you. How you doing, brother? Yeah. So Krista, tell us, tell us about you guys, what you guys are doing, where you guys are at, and uh, if you have a memory of law. Uh, if. Okay. Um, so, Matt and I, um, we live at Highland View Academy in Hagerstown, Maryland. He's the head boys dean and teaches history. Um, I'm a nurse. I work in town at the hospital. Um, I'm doing a bunch of different jobs right now because of everything that's going on with coronavirus. So it changes daily, but that's okay. And we also coach gymnastics. Yeah, yeah, we coach the gymnastics team here. We took our team to ActiveFest for the first time this year, and that was really fun. So, And we have two Galat alumni working with us. We have uh, Natalie Hutchins and Jonathan Benson also coaching with us. So we're really blessed. Well, yeah. we're blessed this year, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyways, so that's us. And also I'm, st I'm going to NP school. I start in uh, like four weeks. So. I promise you, you will not regret it. I know I will not. But it's I'm way better than floor nursing. May 11, that I know. I got out of floor nursing two years ago and it was the best decision oh. of my life, so. Yeah, let me know if you have any, any questions. Chance. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, as far as the GLAD memory, um, I was Mr. Record's reader, and that was by far my favorite job in high school and in college. Um, but I do remember one memory of him is uh, I remember one day I was up really late studying because I was a nerd, you know, so I was up late like every night studying and waking up early. And I remember Mr. Riker, I remember I had my hair up in this bun. And that day, Mr. Riker was lecturing the juniors, and he made me put on this like pioneer man hat and I was so tired and I had my hair up in a bun so it was like perched on my head and I was sitting in his office grading papers and all the kids were looking at me and I was just like this is the worst day ever I did so much so I don't know if you remember that Mr. Riker but I remember I looked terrible I felt terrible and then you made me wear the hat Krista, you were always such a team player you you would go <laughs> over the wall uh you and Talk about a peacemaker, uh, Krista was that. She would go with anything, and she was a great worker. And uh, I loved having her work for me, and uh, missed, we missed her when she was gone. But, uh, yeah, you were a good sport. <laughs> well, I, enjoy, I enjoyed being a reader. Like I said, you're definitely the best boss I had in high school and in college. It was my joy. That's awesome. Can I just uh, jump in here and say something, too? Do it, Jeff. 
Matt and Krista, we miss you. This is Jeffrey. We miss you guys too. We miss you guys too. Jeff we and Nadine, were... they used to live like half a mile away from us. And so we hung out all the time. And um, it was really a bummer when they moved. But people and got to on, you know? Sam misses you. We miss him too. Miss and him. Tika. Tika baby. <laughs> <laughs> we might be getting a second one soon. You never know. Oh, is Tika okay. doing okay? Yeah, she's doing great. Good. <laughs> doing good. good. All nice right. to see you guys. You, you too. too. <laughs> I've got okay. a memory. I've got a couple okay. of memories from, from GLA, even though I didn't go to GLA. Go ahead, so man. So one of them involves um, Mrs. Record, actually. So um, for those By who way, don't hold know. Hold on, Matt. Matt, where did you, where'd you go to school? I went to Grand Rapids Academy, <laughs> and I'm proud of it. Um, but I, but my brother went to GLA, and I wanted to go to GLA so badly. Um, and so I, I remember one, one memory specifically. I went up to GLA for Academy Days. I must have been a freshman. Um, and when I got there to register, I, I went with some other kids from, from Grand Rapids. And I think I was regi doing registration. And Mrs. Riker must have been doing it. And she said, okay, who's your sponsor? And I was like, uh, I don't have a sponsor. And so she, she was really gracious. Thankfully, we knew the Rikers from, from when my brother was there. And Mrs. Riker volunteered to be my sponsor. And I was like, oh, that's <laughs> thanks for saving my bacon there. So. But then um, there was another, another memory involves you, Jordan. Um, I was up there for Arrows Clinic in 2007. And, um, I don't know if I like where this I, is going. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but I was staying in a room with Stephen Davis. Um, so automatically, my my experience was crazy. <laughs> but the, one of the one of the one of the nights you came by, you must have been there for music clinic or something. And you came by, and this was the first time I ever met you. And you were selling used. Um, pizza hut like it was leftovers and you said i'll give you a slice of pizza for like five bucks i'm like no thanks man i'm cool and so then i turned to steven i was like who is that he's like that's jordan values you do not want to get to know him <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> he threw you right under the bus well freshman jordan was a, a bit of a handful let's be real yeah <laughs> and that's why guys i hated going on senior hall he was a junior at the I think, or Stephen might have been a senior at that time, but that's why I didn't like to go on senior hall because of people like, I love Stephen though, but at the time, so. Good times. Great memories, thanks for that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it's green like these your, before now. Bringing back our best moments. Hey, what's your baby's name? Hmm? What? Oh. Ask Courtney. Uh, uh, Courtney, what's your, uh, Alyssa wants to know what your baby's name is. Oh, Gideon. Sorry, my husband took him to FaceTime his parents. Sorry, you missed the introductions at the beginning. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's nice to see him, though, just in your yeah. holding him. So precious. Yeah, he's been a bright spot in all this craziness. Are you doing okay? After week four, um, there's just, you can't prepare for the sleep deprivation. I don't do well for that, but he's a good baby. We're really blessed and uh, really excited here. My husband's brought him back for a bit. So, but yeah, he's doing good. Um, my husband, Alyssa Wally, he's a nurse anesthetist. We're out in Lincoln. You missed the introductions, but yeah, we're really excited, really blessed to have this little, <laughs> the little guy. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Love that. I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little twist on this just for a second. Um, so since since both of these two people that I'm about to talk about are married, it doesn't really matter that I bring this up. So, um, but I remember I was in this skit one time, and like Courtney and I were like, so this is when John and Courtney were dating, and um, uh, and I'm so glad John jumped on because I was gonna say this like with or without John. Hey John, mm -hmm. glad you joined. Um, but like they were dating at the time, and like I felt really weird and awkward because Courtney and I, I don't even know, I didn't know if we like, like put our hands around each other or like held hands or, or we just acted like we were a couple. It was for some like, I don't know if it was AYBL or something, but then like John was, John was like, he was, I think he was part of the skit too, but I just felt really weird because you guys were dating and like you and I were trying to like, like do a skit, like acting like we were a couple. So, and I was like a freshman, I think. So I was a freshman. So I'm not sure if I remember that, but I do remember getting proposed to by, um, um, Andrew, uh, what's his name now? 
in Roderick. The, yeah, no, not Roderick. Oh. Um, anyway, I remember getting proposed to in chapel uh, one morning, and I had not showered that morning. I'd woken up late, and then he called me up <laughs> on the stage to propose to me, and I thought, oh, no, because it was for the Bible class. Um, but no, I don't remember that, Jordan. That's funny. Yeah, I have a weird memory. So I want to jump to uh, Trevor, and then we're going to hit up um, uh, John. So Trevor, tell us what's up, man. Unmute yourself there, yeah. Okay, I'll unmute myself. Hello everyone. Been here for like an hour, but I was on the phone with my mom, so didn't have camera on. So, you know, blah, blah kind of thing. I don't know. So, um, it's nice to see everyone. Uh, I am, uh, I'm in Farmington Hills, Michigan. So I'm back in Michigan after some time away. Uh, you know, oh nine. So fine. The great year. We all loved it. Lots of great memories at GLA. Oh goodness. Pick a memory. I, I have 18, 19, lived there years the whole time to pick through. I got too many, I can't choose one. Uh, I got married in October uh, to my wife, Carly, who graduated 2013 from GLA. She's sitting over there, she doesn't wanna be in the camera. So she says hi. hi. Carly. <laughs> um, she's a nurse at the Beaumont Troy Hospital here in Michigan. She works in the oncology department. Um, started there in June. Uh, I'm still going in school for physical therapy assistance because I couldn't decide for many years what I wanted to do and now this is the one I'm aiming for. Uh, so trying to finish for that. Um, okay, I'll try to think of a memory here because there's a lot, a lot of good memories that I have. One good memory I can think of just because her face is here is proposing to Alyssa in government class and Mr. Berlin helping me out with that. That was loads of fun. Uh, working for Mr. Berlin, playing with the logo display every day, still the best job that I've ever had the pleasure of doing. It's loads of fun being able to change that on the daily to give people something to laugh at. Um, I mean, I could put my mom on the spot and talk about the day when I fell asleep in her class and she put chalk in my ear because she had to make an example of me to all the other students. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Would you like to uh, shed some light on this, Mrs. H? <laughs> I, can you, uh, oh, I, don't even, I don't even remember doing it, but I'm nice. sure I would have. Well, I'll, awesome. I'll embarrass Trevor for just a moment. Oh, go for it, yeah. Um, before they moved you know, to their new house, they of course lived right next door. And when Trevor was, I don't know, two and three, sometimes he would come to my house. And my first question was always, does your mom know you're here? Because usually she didn't. So we would call her and tell her where she was. But then Trevor and I would have tea parties. So oh, yes. it, it was just Wonderful water tea parties in her little <laughs> that's cups. Right. That's right. <laughs> and these awesome. teeny tiny little cups. But that's just a special memory that I will always have of Trevor. That's great. I remember the days when I was younger and I'd have to, uh, before when my parents wouldn't have babysitters for me, I'd have to be in the school and I'd get really bored in my mom or dad's office because there wasn't enough to do there. And when, uh, when Principal Ray Davis was still around, he had these little, little uh, tractors that he would have on his bookshelf behind his desk. And he would let me come in and play with his tractors, oh, yeah. and waste the day away while, uh, while waiting for my mom or dad to be done so I could go home. That's awesome. Yeah, I still remember you proposing to me, Trevor. I know we talked about it at alumni, but it was the best. He made a, a giant chocolate chip cookie and he decorated it all and it was very sweet. And so when I got to alumni, he's, and your wife Carly was there, he's like, first wife, meet my second wife, second wife, meet my first wife. High school wife, meet my real wife. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, Trev. It was great. Nice to see everyone. Okay, John. I want, I, I want to get you on here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What are you up to? And I want to tell you that your kid is adorable. There yeah, he's something. he's something, all right. Hey, Connor, are you done? All right, when you finish, come here, okay? Um, we are, I am a... Uh, to probably nobody's surprise uh, after working in CD's office for all those years I ended up as a math teacher and uh, this year I'm moonlighting as a chemistry teacher we had the, the staff shuffle up, shuffle up and they called me out on my chemistry minor that was kind of like there to make me look better I really enjoyed it in high school and by the time I got up to biochem I had kind of fallen out of love with it and uh, so they're like hey you have a chemistry minor and we've had the staff shuffle up we need a chemistry teacher this year and 
it's been good. It's, it's really different and the lab stuff's fun. Uh, but that means that it's really not fun to teach from home as we've been doing here for our first week now. So we are at, uh, we're in Spencerville, Maryland. I'm at Spencerville Adventist Academy. Um, my wife, Ellen, grew up in this area. So we're like 20 minutes from her folks. And my folks migrate, so it's tougher to be close to them. So we can at least be close to one of the families this way. And yeah, we're doing uh, teaching from home for the past week. I am, I'm wearing, I had to go dig out a hoodie. I don't wear hoodies very much. I had to go dig one out because I'm, I'm a snake sitting. Another good choice. Yeah, I've got a, here, he's, he's around my wrist and then the rest of him is in my hoodie pocket. But uh, I got Hector the corn snake from school. Nope. Hey, I'm with you, Ms. Hall. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, we're just uh, keeping on. Trying you're to, playing, a, playing a lot of uh, uh, disc golf, yeah? I play disc golf a ton. Like, yeah, that's it's been a hobby that is compared to the ball golf is like not costing me money and is a lot less time commitment and uh, is really fun. So I've been doing that a lot. Yeah. If you find me on Instagram, that's pretty much all I post about. I, I might have to come play with you sometime. I got into that two years ago. It's awesome. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's a blast. Nice. That's awesome, man. Glad you're doing well. John, Mr. Carter has a snake that's right by the, his door that, um, from his, at his classroom, which is the door that I go into my office. And every single day when I go into my office that way, the first thing I do is make sure that I see that snake in its container yep. because <laughs> I do not like snakes. And one day I came in and it was not in its container. Freaked out. Oh, man. And they found it wound around pipes and what have you in the classroom. Uh, but no, no not idea. my thing. They have no idea That's how it got out. Some people no, uh -uh. My so worst snake thing, though, was when my kids were little, they had this tiny little snake that was kind of maroon with little gray patches on it. There was a little plastic snake. It looked kind of like an S. And one day I walked into my office and it looked like that was on floor in my office. Mr. Hesrop was teaching journalism in my classroom at that stage. And I thought, oh, you jerk, you put this down because you know it, you're going to freak me out because you know I don't like snakes. And so I will not scream because I tend to scream when I see snakes. And so I continued to walk into my classroom until the snake started moving. Then I did scream and climb on a chair until such time as somebody came to catch it. But you can keep your snake, John. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah. Connor loves this, uh, this work from home stuff. We all got the final, finally got the stay at home order and it was the best day of Connor's life because he got a pet snake at home. Connor, do you want to come back and say hi now? Uh, hi. Say hi. Wait. Hi, Connor. Hi. How cute. How old are you, Connor? Well, oh, yeah, they want how old you are. Oh. Oh. Connor, do you have a favorite animal? I think I think it ha it changed to changed from whales. So it changed from whales to what? It changed from whales to blue tangs. Blue tang. What's the name of a famous blue tang? One I want I have for a pet, but I think Dory. I don't Dory. Okay. Yeah, the one you have for a pet, which is a plastic pet. Yeah. How adorable! Do you want to say hi, John? My wife is, is in the kitchen, actually, on Zoom with her family. They're all baking together, but... Oh, that's awesome. Hi. Yeah, you have the weird shadows from the yeah, light. Yeah. <laughs> Ellen, what's up? How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I remember I remember John dating Ellen, and I think John was the, ta the past, past, well, that, task force at the time, and Ellen would come and visit him, and we would have conversations um, in, the, uh, in Dean Hill's office. Well, any of the offices, but... Right, yeah. Well, and look at I you now, you have a kid. I know, time flies. That's awesome. <laughs> good to see you. Family's calling in, but good to see everybody. Yeah, good to see you, John. Um, I want to jump to Eric Mall real quick, my math, my math tutor, freshman year. When I would, Eric, I was telling the guys the other day that I would, um, I would have you, uh, I would have you come to my room and tutor me in math, even though, even though I didn't need it. Like, I just wanted you to, like, basically tell me that I, all my answers were correct. Knew everything. Um, I was getting 
paid for it. So it was. I know crazy. exactly. I told you I was like, dude, you're getting paid, and I'm getting help. So. I think you gave me some food too. I gave you the food before I started selling it. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> So what's up, Eric? Tell us about yourself. Oh, I'm just hanging out in Oregon here. Got a nice place here with Darren. So we're having a good time. And yeah, and just a physical therapist now. So I enjoy helping people get better. That's awesome, man. Yeah. At some point, I have a story with Eric that I'd like to share. Uh -oh. Jeffrey, this couldn't be more of a perfect time. <laughs> so this involves getting in trouble with Eric and Eric and I are <laughs> not rebels you know we tried to be good and it, uh, the only time we ever got ours do you remember Eric I think it had something to do with Steven yes it did indeed I claim all innocence in this okay because I was in I was on the phone, I think, with my parents, and it was late, and I don't know if it was after. It must have been after lights out already, and I was still on the phone. And I come back to the room, and the lights are off, and I find Stephen Davis in the room <laughs> with Eric. And I'm like, okay, well, hopefully, hopefully this doesn't get bad or you know, nothing bad happens. I don't know. It's probably like 1230 in the morning. And do you remember who walked in, Eric? <laughs> No, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't him because he wasn't late night RA yet. Oh. It was Fenner. What? I thought it was Mike. Oh. No, we were sophomores. Mike's, uh, he was, he was our, our, our A that year. Oh. Uh, I think it was, it was later. The John Fenner, right? John Fenner. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. He's in Orlando right now, but he's just vacationing. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, then the next day I had to go talk to Dean Hill and he gave me two hours. So, but I blame, I blame Eric and Steven for that, actually. So. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, hey, am I muted still? No. No? Oh. Hi. Oh, Mom, oh, I just, Mom, no, Mama I just, V wants to jump, jump on. Mama here. V. Hey, everybody. I look, I look terrible. I just took two bike rides. Nice. Good job. Yeah. Who's all on here that I know? So you got Mr. Carter, Mrs. Prouty, Dean Hill, Laura Passes, Courtney Tate, Reichert. Hi, Reichert. Uh, Hi, everybody. Um, but I know Reichert. So. Hess, Mrs. Heslop, Dean Hi, Coggins, Katie. Miss Hall, Matt and Krista, Darren. Uh, oh, Trevor. Hey, Trevor. And Trev. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Do you want to say anything? I just said. Oh, okay. I just didn't know if you were, like, coming to... I don't know, do you want to, like, you always thank the faculty for... I, I tell Riker that every time I see them at True Church, I do, we do appreciate you guys all helped shape this whatever right here. Wow. <laughs> Glad to have you in Florida, Sherry, Sherry, you have always been so encouraging. Every time we see you in Cicero, we're going to miss miss you every time we go now. Yeah. You have three great... The weather. Yeah, you had three that. great whatevers. I'll say that. Yeah, you did. We feel very blessed. They were they were worth the move. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great kids. Good to see all of you. God bless you, and I pray that all of you stay healthy. Hi, CD. Matt. And Matt and Krista. Yeah. yeah. Who else? Who is? Who is? Yeah, who? Uh, who was saying something before my mom jumped on? That was me. Matt, Matt, Hang on, go. before your mom goes, oh, no. I don't know if she remembers. When I was at Andrews, I went, I drove down to Southern with oh, yeah. uh, some friends. I remember. And uh, she, knows. she remembers because that was the worst day of our lives. We got like two hours down the road and our car broke down. You went the and wrong like, way. Yeah, we went the wrong way first. And we ended up kind of close to you. And I was like, hey, I know this family here. And I know they live here. I'm gonna call them up. So I called them and I'm like, I'm really sorry our car broke down. Can you help us out for the weekend? And they did. She took me and my friend in for the weekend and they actually drove us back to Andrews on Sunday. And it was it was so nice because I felt I felt very comfortable knowing that you would like you would help take care of us and help us figure out something to do. And it was just so nice that you guys just welcomed us right in and then you helped us get back to school. It was definitely yeah. a huge blessing for us. 
I remember that you really weren't close. You were near Fort oh, Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> Sorry. So, Reichert's will, are they still on or they drop off? Bruce, yeah. No, they, they Bruce, they came down through Fort Wayne instead of Kokomo. <laughs> from from well, Andrews. I wasn't driving, so I yeah. guess I can't take blame. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was good to to have you guys. And for for what it's worth, you probably don't remember this, but the faculty now know Gabe Griffin, and we went to his grandparents' house for lunch that day. Oh, Sabbath. Yeah, and so I don't that's know Mitchell's you... Mitchell's Mitchell Griffin. Mm -hmm. Mitch Griffin's brother. Oh, so yeah. yeah. So, anyways, yep, small world. That's the most world for you. Hi, Matt. Okay. Go ahead. No. Um, All right, I'll let you go. No, the uh, the story about you guys getting hours that just it made me uh, honestly every time so any time somebody brings up getting hours at GLA, I to this day I every time I just wish I wish that we could do that at our school because it would be like so efficient. Um, so I got hours all the time. Huh? I got hours all the time. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the mustache man. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who you are to be honest. Oh crap, that's Andrew Price. Is that Andrew Price? I had a big beard until about two days oh, ago. Oh my gosh, is oh my, that you Andrew your Price? Face. And you shake your head. He's the Tiger King. <laughs> yeah. Andrew, speak for yourself, man. What? What's going on, man? Oh, nothing. Uh, just trying to stay healthy. Working a lot. I'm on a glass Zoom right now. Well, it means exactly what it is. It's a bunch of glasses. Well, tell, us, tell us about where you're at, what you're doing. What does your family look like? Uh, I have three children that are running around somewhere. A beautiful wife. I told you I'm talking to a bunch of black people. Here, I'm the phone, man. It's a Zoom meeting, just like you do for work. A bunch of black people. Anyway, I work in interventional radiology right now. Um, works a little slow, but uh, they just furloughed a bunch of people, so uh, should be picking up here for me a little bit. Um, of that, uh, I work with Danny. Danny Bittinger and I are in the same department, and uh, so yeah, we're just uh, doing a lot of neuro intervention, strokes, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's pretty interesting. We keep pretty busy. Play a lot of music together at church until recently, so. But uh, we see the beans around from time to time, and for Jessica Weaver, for those of you. She was on here earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, things have been pretty good. It's a little crazy times right now, but um, my wife stays at home with our kids, and so. She's going a little stir crazy lately because she hasn't left the house in I don't know, two weeks or something. Wow. Good to see you, yeah. Andrew. Yeah, you too, guys. Hey, been too oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was pretty much done. Um, yeah, nothing really else to report. I just got just, a quick question. What? Um, yeah. What? What did? What, in one word, what would you describe me as a freshman? As a freshman, uh, one word. Okay, a couple words if you need. Uh, I would say like a, a rabid Colts fan. Oh, okay, uh, that's nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I mean, you were a freshman. That's just the best way to put it. You're you're a uh, a freshman. <laughs> yeah, this is true. No, I was saying I was saying that when I was a freshman, like when I when I got my reputation as like this cocky little freshman. I said when I walked down senior hall, I, I was hoping people wouldn't open their door and you would probably be a top on my list of like hoping that you didn't open open your door because I, I, I felt you somebody like you would be like, why are you on senior hall? Uh, yeah, I don't know if we didn't have a ton. I didn't feel like we had a ton of that with our class at least, but um, yeah, yeah, good to see you, man. Yeah, you too, man. You still down in Florida? Yeah, we're in Orlando. Nice. Yeah, dude, you should get the whole the whole fam bam. The the, the whole Price family came down oh. and then got this like oh, no, band that you. fitted that fit uh, everybody, and I got to see them. Number three here. Completely unshowered and disgusting. How cute, Jackson. 
you say hi? Oh. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> this is number one, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hi. Everybody's waving to you. Darren gave you a fist bump. Hi, Olivia. Dad. I don't know. Where's where Zoe? Anyway, good to see you, Andrew. Glad you joined on here. You too, guys. Um, so, real quick, I'm gonna. I, I want to share one memory, and uh, if somebody can hop back on here again, I, I, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. So it's like, if you need to hop off, that's fine. Um, but I just want to share one thing real quick, and I think people would find this entertaining. So, like I said, Dean Hill is one of my best friends, and um, we had a lot of great conversations, and. Um, um, and we had some nice trips to town, uh, Taco Bell, getting burritos with lava sauce, uh, grilled. I still do grilled to this day because it makes it better. Um, but anyway, uh, we were talking about, I was saving this for later because I didn't want to like say it at the time, but we were talking about like, like Trevor, when uh, is Trevor still on here? But Trevor, when he asked uh, Alyssa to marry him and talking about with uh, Mrs. Peterson's Bible 4 class, um, I, I got selected, I selected uh, Devin McLean's uh, name. And, um, and so I was trying to think of a way to, um, uh, to ask her. And um, of course, if you know me, I kind of procrastinate things and I waited until the last day. And of course, if I waited one more day, Mrs. Peterson would have just let her know. Because if you don't do it in a certain amount of time, then she's just gonna let them know because the girl wants to know who, they, who they're gonna marry. So I waited until the last day. Well, that last day was a Wednesday. And unfortunately, there was a snowstorm that came through, and Devin McLean is village, and she was not able to make it to school. So my plan um, did not go according to plan, but of course, I uh, had a backup, and I um, was able to uh, still complete my marriage proposal. But basically, I was going to ask her in front of the cafeteria at lunch um, to marry me, but of course, I'm not just going to ask her. I have to come up with a creative way of doing it. So on my way to Taco Bell, Dean uh, Hill helped me come up with this poem um, to ask her, and Mrs. Han, I, she found out that I was doing it, so she videotaped me. And you can actually find it on my Facebook uh, page, um, super bad quality. But anyway, this is kind of drawn out, but this is the poem, right? So I called her up on the phone, and I'm on the microphone in the cafeteria, and I'm saying this, and I had like this dollar ring. I made a, a, a ring out of a dollar bill. Anyway. So this, I really give all this credit to Dean Hill for, um, for, for the, um, yeah, no, 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 you, you, you basically wrote this thing. Uh, and then I'll shut up after I read this. So, um, there once was a girl named Devin, who if I were to rate her on a scale of one to 10, she would be an 11. Mrs. Peterson told us that we had to wed and her beautiful face popped into my head. At first I was shocked and a little surprised. And then I thought of those beautiful eyes. I couldn't believe it. How could this be? Would Devin McLean really marry me? Of course she would, I said with a smile, because when I ask her, I'll do it with style. As I stand before you with a ring in hand, and I like pulled my ring out of my pocket to show the cafeteria, promise me that I'll always be your man. And although you're not here because of the weather, I promise you will be together forever. <laughs> this is great. So uh, are you gonna like adapt this to reality at some point? Yeah, and once the weather subsides, Devin will go on the ride of our lives. As I ask you for your hand for all the calf to see, I ask you, please, Devin, or Devin, will you marry me? Boom. Guess what, guys? She said yes. So anyway, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Dean Hill, literally, I give you all credit for that. I did not, I did not come up with like much of that at all. You're the lyric writer. So anyway, anybody else want to share? We were just talking about this today because, uh, Michelle, that's uh, Michelle, Michelle Coy now is the one that I had to propose to. So I act like I uh, hijacked Mrs. Peterson's PowerPoint presentation in the morning, uh, one morning during class, and it was like a PowerPoint proposal. But we got to talk about how silly the whole thing was, and, the, and also the uh, baby you had to take for the weekend. And uh, I'm pretty sure I chucked mine off of my loft at one point. <laughs> Nice. Now we have three children. <laughs> nice, yeah. Anybody else? Oh, have I, I remember the proposal. I I couldn't think of what to do. So I literally just matter of factly popped my head in the classroom and asked. I think it was Carla Carrillo. I had to 
get married to and for that class and so I, I guess she was pretty because I didn't do anything creative I just popped my head and was like let's do it I mean some marriage proposals are like that in real life I guess Ray so maybe you can uh, fine-tune it for uh, for the real deal someday I, uh, I I just see Mr. Riker here so I, I just wanted to kind of um, add in uh, my thing because I had I coordinated with him so when he said to stand up and stretch he uh, um, I, I was asking uh, Brooke Harris now Willie of course um, to, to marry me and so I was the one that I kind of slowly got up so of course I had to lead it of course I did a couple stretches and then of course after it wasn't anything you know spectacular but I just I just remember that um, you know doing that in Mr. Eckert's class kind of the epitome of you know the kind of stand up and stretch thing so yeah. Hey, it worked. She said yes, so she did. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Mine worked too, so I, I guess that was all right. I'm enjoying everybody showing their children. <laughs> it's nice to see all of your kids, especially since a lot of us weren't in the same class, so it's nice to see your family. We don't get to see everyone unless you're an honor class at alumni a lot of times. I had a quick story. I don't know if Eric Mall is still here. I don't think he is, but anyways, um, Mrs. H would always do uh, uh, t-shirts for the calculus class and the day that we were getting our t-shirts, it was like middle of winter. It was freezing cold. And we're like, well, we're getting our t-shirts in class. We should probably not wear any shirts to class. So what we did is it was so cold, so we all cut blankets from our rooms and put the blankets over us. Like we tied them up like as a shirt as we wore them to her calculus class that day. And we got the t-shirts and we just got them on. I don't know if Mrs. H remembered that or not, but it was like Ronnie Bedford, Andrew and Eric Mall. Uh, who else was in that class? I can't remember, but it was like the four of us guys. We kind of goofy, but that's what I remember from one of our classes. I remember my brother always being troublesome in math classes too. So I remember you're coming to class without shirts. I do remember that happening. Do you remember the black <laughs> duck? Oh, yeah, it's still there. Uh, I'm, I know. I'm, I keep thinking I need to go climbing around in the roof or somewhere to find it. I don't know where it is, but one Andrew day we'll... He checked on it. He checked on it. It was still there. That's what yeah. he told me that he did. So I, I know it's still there somewhere, but I have not gone looking for it. Your brother used to get into trouble, I think, every day in calculus class. <laughs> yeah. If you remember correctly, I have a whole bunch of lotions in my class. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he would do this... Today is my rainbow day. Once a week was rainbow day for him and he would put a stripe of one and then on one finger and a stripe of another flavor, you know, scent on another finger and so on and then mix them all together. <laughs> and, oh my goodness, yes. Yes, yeah, yep, I remember that. Yeah, good times. Um, I have a question about your calculus class. Um, Jeffrey, were you and Sarah Olkowski and some of the others in the same calculus class? I think Sarah was a year ahead. This okay. is All right, then maybe people wouldn't remember this. Maybe John, John, were you in there? John, John was you in with Sarah? Yeah, John. Sarah okay. was in mine. Okay, this was, Mike. yeah, I had to go in there. I worked in the business office. There was some reason I had to go to your class, Mrs. H. I don't know what, um, why Miss Powers was sending me there. There was some reason, and I was like, you know, all these calculus people. And I, I didn't want to interrupt your class, but there was some errand I had to do, I don't remember. But you guys were having this deep discussion about which animal people would be, what they looked like and their personalities would be like. And you guys were deciding like, somebody was a ferret. I don't know who it was, but you guys were having this in-depth conversation about what animal every person would be. And then you guys started sizing me up to what animal I would be. And it, I just remember it being like, wow, calculus sounds like fun. 
<laughs> Honestly, calculus class was one of the best classes ever. Sure, and I know you guys worked really hard. Well, no, I'm being sincere. I know that all those hard problems, we would see it on the board, you know? <laughs> uh, I, I have to say that I very much enjoyed Mrs. H's class and Mr. Reichert's class and Mr. Carter's classes. And, you know, uh, I, you guys honestly helped me become the person I am today. And I think every as other student can say the same thing. And same with Dean Hill and Dean Coggins, you know, just so many great memories. And, you, you know, I'll admit this, I, I got my only C in Mrs. H's uh, calculus class, but I got an A in college in calculus. Me too, Jeffrey, same thing. Only C <laughs> and I got an A and I ended up a math teacher. Connor wants to tell everybody something. Good night. Good night, Good night Connor. Good night, Connor. Don't forget the soap that I have from gigantic way over there with smokestacks. Well, I guess all I can say is if you got a C from me, that's why you got the A in college, because I'd help you prepare. Exactly. That's exactly, exactly. right. My, my teacher in college was Dr. Henson, and she told me that I was flying through calculus. I'm like, that's because of Mrs. H. That's, that's why. So. Mr. Carter, do you, uh, I don't know if I saw your chat. Are, are you needing to go, or were you saying goodbye to somebody else? Oh, hold on, hold on. Unmute. Just there you saying. Go. People, that's fine. Hold on, say that again. I was just saying goodbye to people that were checking off. Okay, okay, just making sure. Um, Let me say something. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I didn't get to think of memories earlier, so I wanted to say thanks, Aaron Ward. Tell your mom I have fond memories of doing essay with her and Miss Hall. Mr. Carter and we stayed up a lot of late nights. I didn't get to tell some of the other essay people too. Getting ready for banquets. Those are some of the best times in my life. I grew a lot as a person getting to do some essay work. So it's just treasured memories and I appreciate how you guys um, pushed us to be able to be leaders even from a high school standpoint uh, in life. And now it's it's neat because Jordan and I get to help out with our high school group at our church which is pretty big. So um, it's cool to be on the flip side now of, you know, being able to mentor and it's special. And I know that you guys set a great example for us of how to mentor high schoolers. So thank you. And I was going to, and I'll, I'll say um, if any, if does any faculty have any, uh, any memories they want to share, you, like preferably, hold on, preferably fr from um, somebody who's in this group, but if not, it can be from anybody, but does anybody, any faculty want to share anything? Any memory, like uh, fond memories that they have? Mr. Riker, it looks like you're uh, about to unmute. Wait for it, wait for it. There it is. Well, I'm actually scrolling through it to see who's all on right now, because I'm not sure who, who all is on right now, but. Um, uh, of course, Jordan, uh, we, the thing about the, the, the Colts, we were kind of kindred sport spirits there a little bit. Uh, Jordan, oh, you always had something to say about everything. <laughs> and I like that because I always knew where you were coming from on everything. You were, um, uh, what's that? I, Jordan, you were one of the people that probably when I did seeing charts, I strategically put you by some quiet people, <laughs> which I do. Fair. I like to get, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I, I, I don't know if Andrew's still on or not. Andrew, when he came he over to our place, that guy could probably pack away about as much food as any student that I can remember. Oh, over. I loved cooking for Andrew. Yeah. Um, so those are a couple of, those are two memories. I'm not sure who all's on right now. So are you guys, are you guys, are you guys, are you, are you guys on a computer or a tablet or? His we're, phone. On, we're on my iPhone. Okay. If you slide, I think if you slide. Yeah. Yeah. We've been doing that. Oh, okay. Okay. Just okay. Oh, there's a ray. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see here. Of course, Ray was Ray was very much into history, and he liked political discussions, and he was a uh, uh, very very uh, partisan oh, yeah. political party. <laughs> and uh, me, I try to you know I try not to claim membership to people to be thinkers in class to whatever party they want to be in. But you know he he uh, he always made some very strong arguments for his political. Uh, viewpoints which i enjoyed i i did uh of course uh 
Jeffrey and Nadine, they, they started, you guys were dating for a mm -hmm. good portion of Goliath, if I remember correctly. Actually, um, story about that. I dated, I actually dated Nadine when I was, we, we weren't, we actually weren't dating at all, technically. Okay. When I was there. Yeah, when I was there. But um, I asked her to be my girlfriend uh, August 16th, 2007, and that was actually the RA retreat for the boys' dorm. So I was there for RA retreat, but she came to visit right before I went to Andrews. she went to Andrews that year. And um, yeah, I asked her out twice that day. That's a funny story, but I, yeah, I asked her on a trampoline and that wasn't anything special. I wanted to ask her out underneath the stars and I got permission to go hang out at the Levitt's house that night. And then how the story goes is, I was like, Nadine, I, I made a mistake today. And she was thinking I was gonna break up with her. <laughs> but um, I said, I wanted to ask you out underneath the stars. And it was during the meteor shower and she saw her first meteor, meteor uh, shower. Or meteor How shower. romantic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So I always was joking with him that if he to break up with me, he would have to break up with me. I never did. Yeah. Anyway, I was going to say, I always remember um, Mr. Riker doing his um, Nixon impersonation. <laughs> I'm not a crook. For the, his <laughs> figures day. Well, let's hear it. <laughs> uh -huh. What? Oh, I yeah. am not a crook. Is <laughs> <laughs> it that or... Uh putting his leg all the way up on someone's desk or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember one time, Andrew, seeing you, um, it was late one night and you were a senior and I was walking down the hall, your room door was open and I don't know what was going on, but you were chugging chocolate up. What? I actually don't remember that, but I'm sure it happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I don't know why I remember that, but it just stuck out to me. Good times. So. Oh, any other faculty have anything they want to share? I really enjoyed working with the PSA. Having you guys in classes and working with the faculty was hard. Great time. Mr. Carter, I remember uh, you would you would literally, if you saw like a bee or a wasp or a hornet or whatever got in your class, you would literally stop class and you would kill it. We all deserve death. And it, one of the quotes that I will never forget is, because, okay, so I'm the type that like, I'm the type that when I do, I, I'm kind of a perfectionist a little bit. So like when I do assignment, I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. I mean, don't we all, but I like, I kind of obsess with like, want to make sure, like, I kind of want you to just tell me if I'm doing it right. That's why I had Eric Moll tutor me. But, um, so I would ask you and then I'm like, but I don't know. And you're like, Jordan, self-doubt is the greatest cancer. Yep. And I'll, and I'll never forget that. I, I, I got to interject here. One of my favorite memories from GLA, I, I want to say it was with Casey Moore, but it, it may have been somebody else. Anyway, it was, him and I were in the same room with, with you, Mr. Carter. And he asked you why it is that you hunt or, or kill animals. Do you hunt for food or for sport? And he <laughs> golden. He said, verbatim, I hunt out of need. The animals must die. <laughs> that kid's jaw hit the floor. It was awesome. <laughs> Mr. Carter does have a way with words. I just wanted to say how much fun this has been, but a huge blessing, you know, just to connect with people that you don't get to see very much. Um, and probably, I mean, I don't know, maybe because we're all into the whole online communication now, maybe this is a tiny little um, good thing that's coming out of this whole mess that we're in right now. But um, I just hope that maybe somebody will take it upon themselves to do this again um, sometime and just, you know, maybe even get more people involved. But how, you think about how many people 
um, during the course of our time here have come in and out and it's just been a huge blessing. And so thank you, Jordan and David for kind of getting it going and everybody that was a part, it's just been wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, just so you guys know, and, and, and I don't want you to feel like, um, and you're welcome, you're welcome. This was, I, this was more than worth it. Um, but just so you staff know, um, I didn't, I just did students at first and I figured that I was going to ask you guys and I wanted to ask you guys. It's just, I ended up text like messaging you like uh, individually. Um, but I did create a, a, a group of all these GLAW people for this meetup. And there was, and like when I invited people, it was over a hundred, but like I, that I invited that were, that I'm friends with on Facebook. It's only if I'm friends with you on Facebook and you kind of have to like accept my invitation, not that you're going to join, but that you accept that you get updates on the Facebook page. And I had over a hundred people like accept the invitation. So, um, I'm not like disappointed that we didn't get, like, we got a good group, but like, there's definitely more. So, but this was, yeah, this was awesome. And I just want to say if, if some teachers are logging off, having now been teaching for seven years and I've, I've done uh, classes that were the things I was excited about and I've done classes where it's like, why are you making me do this? And I've done head essay sponsor and I've been at a boarding school for four years and, uh, and at the Day Academy now, having been kind of behind the curtain a lot really makes you appreciate how much, uh, how, how good you've had it, how, what great teachers we had. And I know that uh, we are Oh, I know people have said it already, but one more time, got to just say how thankful we are for you guys and how much you did for us. Now I kind of know <laughs> what it was like to deal with us a lot of the time. So uh, appreciate you guys always. And it's Anybody? good to have people who are following in our steps. Thank you so much for that. Um, just one little thing and a little change for me. I don't have any children to introduce, but I do have a grandchild. I'm so excited. I'm an Omi now, and that's been a big, big deal for me. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this on there well, but this is Ava Grace, who is almost a month old. She'll be a month old on Tuesday next week. Love that. Congrats, what a little cutie. So very excited. Yeah, I'm so happy for you. I got to see some pictures that Trevor had posted too about him being an uncle and that's just so wonderful. I'm so thrilled for you guys. That's awesome, Mrs. H. Well, and I, I get to introduce her I get to introduce her to Mr. H one day in heaven. I'm looking forward to that. Yep, absolutely. Well, guys, I'm going to, I know Jordan might still be here, but I just want to say thank you, and it's great to see your faces. I'm sure this isn't the last time. So, yeah, take care, blessings, and I pray you stay well. I'm going to head out as well. Thank you all. I love yeah, you. Just... Even the ones that I usually see that I'm really just seeing your faces, too, for, um, because we don't see each other um, in the building all the time. But thank you all, and just looking forward to heaven when we don't have to say goodbye. Amen. Yeah, I probably will just uh, end this because I think we're probably all, I'm, I'm starving, so. Um, and my mouth is parched because I've talked way too much. Surprise, surprise. Um, you have a different facilitator next time. That's perfectly fine. Um, anybody else want to say any parting words? And then I'll end this in like five minutes. I have to hop off. Good to see you. Stay healthy, everybody. Yeah, Andrew, good to see you. All right, later. Good to I see you all. Uh, it's uh, it's fun following your your progress and knowing that we could be a part of your life and watch you and be proud of you and keep up the good work, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks bye. so much. It's good to bye. see so many more of the family because you guys truly are always and will be part of our family. That's. Yeah, Crazy to see all, all you guys, especially you guys that were, I mean, you guys kind of helped raise me. I mean, I was there. I mean, you, some of you guys have been lo there longer than I have. I um, mean, I was, you know, born there and now I'm 31. It's like crazy to think about it. So, um, yeah, it's just good to see everybody. So I know I don't get to see your lake as often as I, as I should. I only live a couple hours away. But yeah, nice. it's good to see everybody. <laughs> Anybody else? Parting words? Well, I'm just glad that we got a chance to do this. All of us get to do this. Hey, hey. Ducky. I'm 
very thankful that I can do this with you guys. And I hope you guys can all be just ducky as all all time too. Always. So yeah, it, again, it's just great to see everybody. So many people I haven't seen in such a long time. And Dean Hill looks a little bit more like a rock and roll star than Dean Hill that I remember, but that's all right. Oh, we've relaxed our hair policy a little bit. This probably wouldn't have uh, flown maybe when you were a student, but yeah, yeah no. no. I had a student uh, <laughs> put me up to this a couple of years ago, said he would start shaving his head if I would grow mine out. And then I just, I kept rolling with it. And uh, did? no, his, his name is uh, Jamie, Jamie Cox. It was a couple of years ago. He, he said, and so he started shaving his head and then he, told me you know this is a lot of work I said yeah it is a lot of work he said I don't think I can do it anymore will you still grow your hair out I said okay I will and I just I've grown attached to it and um, every time I bring up shaving my head all the students say no please don't so really I just feel terrible that I guess like everybody hates the way like I used to look so I'm like too scared to go back and, sh and shave my head at this point. that's hilarious for those of you who, who who aren't here in the beginning Dean Han Dean Han and Mrs. Han were on here and he made a joke about um dean hill's uh hair and he's like looks like there's not much of a policy anymore or hair policy or any something like that anymore but hey I, I keep it washed i use conditioner so it's it's all right good well i'm glad you're going according to protocol with the hair uh shampoo and conditioner there yeah i'm just thankful that there's no gray in it yet i'm starting to get it down here um but now that i'm out of the dorm i don't have access to the fountain of youth anymore so Nice. All right. One, just one last quick. person, Jeffrey, you want to share and then I'll, and then I'll shut this down. I, was about to say, I remember I was there the first year Dean Hill was. It was, uh, I mean, it was just crazy. I was just like a little kid then. I just remember that. I remember Dean Hall bouncing his sword. He had like a samurai sword on his shoulder and he'd bounce it. I was like so intimidated. I was just like a little freshman. So. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But hey, you're looking great, man. Keep it up. <laughs> it was good to see everyone. Yes. Stay healthy and safe. So. All right, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off here. So. So everybody, everybody can Thank turn their mics back on and say goodbye if they want, <laughs> since we don't have that many people. Bye. See you. Bye. See ya. All right. Have a good one. God bless everybody. Cool stuff. Good to see everybody. All right. Ending in five, four, three. Thank you, Jordan. Two. You bet, man. One. <laughs> bye. And we're still going because I have uh, something popped up here.